Oops, yeah. All right, let's start it up. You need to get a treasure? In what what game are you playing, DF? Yeah, Yoshi, I've had world record for a couple weeks now in this category. I originally had a 551, and then Bewilderbeast beat me with a 549, I believe, and then I got a 548, and then a 547. What the heck, Yumius? Why are you bullying me? Have I ever bullied you before, Yumius? And before you answer, obviously no. Right? You don't even need to answer, right? So let's not let's not go there. <laughs> no, no, that doesn't sound like me, Yumius. Ah, uh, no, she but if you if you go to bed early enough, sheep, you could wake up for the world record. See? <laughs> That's how this goes. Well, that's true, Rick. So he always beats me by, like, a frame or something. I don't know. It feels like he just has a huge stockpile of world records, Rixa, and as soon as I beat him, he just, he just sends me the, uh, the worst one that still beats me. It's all, it's all just a game to him. He's toying with us. He's toying with us! See, so I guess the saddest news about the uh, the Panda controller that comes from this is that it's not going to come out by December next year. It's probably going to take a bit longer. Which is sad, but as long as I can get one eventually, I am okay with that. I just want one eventually. Oh no, my mouse is tangled with my controller. How did this happen? Ooh, I love raspberry. Both the actual berries and then also like raspberry flavored thing. Raspberry ice cream is really, really good. It's actually one of my favorites. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound nearly as good, DF. Figuring out time travel and buying a GameCube controller in the past. Dude, just- oh my god! Okay, we're good. Let's go. That was really good rupee luck. Really good rupee luck! Dude, I just spun and got three blues. See, Jess, this is why we do RNG rupees, for high rolls like that, right? <laughs> it's worth it. Sub 35? What do you mean, sub 35? All you guys have, like, absolutely ridiculous expectations of this category. Alright, sub 540 would be an absolutely immense achievement. 
but uh, I think sub 540 is extremely unrealistic. Sub 10! Oh my god. I'm finishing the whole run in the next four minutes. Oh, Jess. You just spin and get three blues. That's the strat. Just do it every time. Oh yeah, uh, this run, my summer best will probably go sub 540. I'd have to imagine that I'll gold something by nine seconds total. There's plenty of things I can. Actually, I could have skipped those rupees. I didn't need to go for those. They aren't necessary. In this category, Jess, I do not go for a higher roll because you actually, by default, always visit North Clock Town a minimum. Like, you always load North Clock Town a minimum of three times in this category. You can't actually reduce the number of times you load North Clock Town. There's no point to going for more in this category. Yeah, because of bombers. Yo, what's up, Askrun? I need a Hey Escrunt emote. Just to use specifically when Escrunt uses Hey Trev. All the rupees you need in this category is 12, right? Unless you really, really want to bank on, uh, Honey and Darling rupees. Yeah, intro rupees, you don't need as many in this category. Like, you need, like, and when you get, like, the minimum, it's good enough. Because you're guaranteed to get the 27 from Keaton Bushes, then the one in Trading Post of 28, then the three from South Clock Town, plus the two from uh, East Clock Town. So that's 32, plus any random rupees you get from Honey and Darling. So it's like 32 plus in 100%, right? No, it's 33 plus, actually, because, yeah, there's the one in trading post. Yo, what's up, Pycon? The angle was good enough, I probably could have maintained it and just turned the last second. Uh -huh. 
Oh, by the way, guys, uh, I didn't mention this yet. Um, I was supposed to do a race for the ADR tournament on the 26th, but I actually got messaged by Zippo, and he asked me to reschedule it to Friday of this week because he wanted more time to practice. And honestly, I wanted more time to practice too, so it works out. Because we both suck at the category because we haven't run it in, like, months because the, the tournament just got put on hold. Is the position after the reset different than using the load zone, Jess? Um, I could try that. I did not know that there was actually a difference. Okay, I did not- I need to mess with that then, Jess. I did not know that. I'll mess with it. <laughs> I don't play out English enough, apparently. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. Uh, I will mess with that and let you know, Jess. But if that's true, then side hops might be very good since it's up a slope. Yeah, Jess is a freaking English swimming advocate in here, all right? Get out of here, Jess. Well, is Jess right? Jess is never right. Hello, Zox. Welcome to my streaming. Also, by the way, guys, here's the plan for more 100% no-hit attempts. I'm going to do more 100% no-hit attempts, but I'm not going to do any more of them until after I've done or I've started playing OOT, like doing runs of it, just because I need all the extra time to practice right now for the OOT run, and I don't have time to work on, like, the no-hit strats and stuff. So there will be more of those, um, but it's going to be on hold for the next week or so, right? Because January 6th is, like, what, about a week and a half from now? Like nine days from now. So at least for the next nine days, no hit attempts are on hold. Uh, and then I'll do... When is the when is the glitchless race? Wait. I got messages about that. I'm trying to catch up with everything because I was like pretty busy the last couple days. When is the glitchless race? January 8th. Yeah, I'll join that. That should be fine. I did exactly one 100% no-hit attempt, Kyle. I did one. I finished the entire game 100% in around seven hours and a half with uh, only 20 hits, which for my first attempt was not bad. I think we can easily cut that in half in the second attempt, though, because so many of the hits were just me being really, really dumb. Like, I think it is perfectly feasible for my second attempt to go sub-10, if not better. That was my favorite hit too, Jess. <laughs> Scanners, dude.
Yo, Bella, it is going. All right. Winding down from the holidays. That is all right, Bella. You were missing first cycle. Nothing was lost, I promise you. Yeah, yeah, this runs world record. I just, we haven't gotten it yet. What should I name? Palkia? Mm. Hey, someone get that down. Three, two, one, five, four. So that I don't forget it, because I'm dumb. I'm here an hour early this run. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, thank you, Nose. Thank you, Nose. You should name your Palkia 32154, that way I don't forget the bomber code. <laughs> no, no. Wait, oh. no! <laughs> I didn't realize you were actually going to do it, Timber. <laughs> One step ahead of me. My god. Yo, idiot, what's up? Thank you so much for the 76 month resub. Okay, you only missed first cycle, idiot. That is all right. I assure you, missing first cycle, honestly, the best way to go about it. It's honestly just really good that we have first cycle in general in MM, just because it gives everyone time to show up for the stream without actually missing it. Like, nothing of value is lost when you miss first cycle. Poggers, bro. Oh my god, it's a poggers, bro. Now we just need to take another seven seconds off the sum of best. Okay, okay, okay. And now I will save 12 seconds due to getting better bomb luck on this split, maybe? I don't know. I am only already an hour into stream because I did a little bit of warm up at the beginning, yeah? I, I guess there is that. There is that. One day we're gonna get first cycle skip, hopefully, that doesn't use SRM or... We, we need a first cycle skip that doesn't use SRM. Or ace. I believe that one day we will have such a thing.
Dude, when I'm playing OT, I'm just gonna complain about Child 1. Child 1 is gonna be the, uh... The new first cycle. Yeah, it's too late for me though, Yumius. I have to do it. Yumius, do you remember the six-year-old bet that I lost that said I had to play OT on January 6, 2022? Do you remember it? Does anyone remember it? Does anyone know why this is happening? I don't know why this is happening. I wish I knew why this is happening. See, but six years ago, Yumius, 2022 seems so far away. Seems so far away. Five years ago or whenever it was. It's five or six years. I see. God, I wonder what it was. I'm sure it was something really stupid. Like, if we ever actually figured out exactly what the bet was, I'm sure it would be something insanely stupid and, like, anticlimactic. 2022 is the year of hundo by the end of 2022 i want to have the record in every single major 100 percent category in mm and, and maybe ot but that's like a stretch but i figured i'd just throw it in there because i'm gonna be running ot 100 anyway because of that bet No Zelda 2. Oh yeah, Light Mop. Yo, that's huge. I assume then that you've been watching the um the Mass Quest playthrough. The Mass Quest playthrough was something. 
<laughs> the Mass Quest playthrough was horrible. Absolutely atrocious. <laughs> Dude, I have no idea if Legends Arceus is actually going to be a good speed game. We'll see. See, okay, this is gonna come up in a later video, Jackie, but actually, you can see me get hit by Remains twice in that fight, and I didn't notice it in that fight, Jackie, but Remains did three hearts each time they hit me, and um, that's because I have double defense. Uh, Van Majora is vanilla in Mass Quest, except the Remains shots do six hearts each. And in the first speedrun I ever did of Mass Quest, I actually died because I didn't notice that in my first playthrough. Cause I, I did speed runs of Mass Quest and uh <laughs> That is what I discovered, that the remains do six hearts of damage. Yeah, Zelda 2 is Honestly it, it it's it's better if we don't treat Zelda 2 as a Zelda game, because I hate that game. It's just not- it's, it's not even a Zelda game. Let's not even count it. Yo, nice light mop. Hundred percent glitchless is really really fun, and even when I'm done speedrunning this category, I'm gonna it's gonna live on in the spirit for a little bit because I'm also trying to do an hundred percent no hit playthrough, which uh is gonna be quite the endeavor I feel, beating the whole game one hundred percent without ever getting hit. Yeah, yeah, no hit glitchless. The no hit rule set in general uh, forbids glitches. Like I'm using the um, the no hit rule set that does it, like the Zelda community already has like a no hit community with like pre-established rules, and so I'm just using those when they say no glitches. Yo, it's a good one, Light Mop. Honestly, Light Mop, uh, in a couple of weeks there's gonna be a big any percent glitchless race. And it's it, every year, it's done once per year. It's usually hosted on ZSR, and it like tries to get as many people involved as they can. And it's honestly a good jumping in point if you'd like. You have a couple weeks to prepare if you really, really wanted to, to just like do it and see if you like it. Right, and you could like join the Discord and like leading up to the race, there'll be people like helping people learn the category. You could do it. Now is the time to prepare for the big race. Oh, I like 100% more too right now, but I think any percent is a much better starting point. It's like a good way to like get into it, find out if you like it, and it's like a lot less committal at the start. Doesn't mean you could eventually then like sh go from that into 100% afterwards, but like you could learn it for the big race and then like al almost um, about m more than half of what you would learn for any percent glitchless is reused in 100% glitchless. More than half. More than half of that category is just present in 100% glitchless. Like, the first hour of 100% glitchless is actually almost identical to the first hour of any percent glitchless with only a few changes. There are a few changes, but... Not many. Oh, no light mop. That's fair. You can't fault me for trying, though. I'll have everyone speedrunning before long. Yeah. 
I thought we were gonna have several people running 100% glitchless, but I think Bewilderbeast is done because he's moved on to TP 100%. And I don't know if uh, Keaton Myra is still learning 100% glitchless. Because they started, and now I, I don't even know. Another gold split. Here we go. Did I drop a few frames because of Spectrum? The classic. If you want a copy for the Wii light mop, you need a soft modded Wii that has it installed already, is the legal way. Um. <laughs> now that's not to say that there isn't perchance websites that have a WAD for the Japanese version that you could just install on a Wii. That certainly exists, and I'm certainly not encouraging such a thing. But it might be one of the the way that most people do it, right? Right? I'm not encouraging it. I'm just saying that most people do it that way at this stage. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can get a wad for any version of this game now. They're they're all around. They're not that hard to find. Not, not that I would know about such a thing, absolutely not. Please turn immediately. Please don't stop. <laughs> God dang it. What's up, Justin? What is game? Oh, Justin, I saw your message, like you and Vark talking on Discord. I actually forgot to respond before the stream because I was running late. But I'm glad you're here. Um, I that time is good for tomorrow. I just realized my bitrate is still low right now from the stream where I was dropping a lot of frames. I'm going to up it a little bit. We're going to take it slow today because Spectrum's been owning me lately. But I, I am going to up it a bit. <laughs> no problem. Dude, honestly, Light Mop, it only took me a couple minutes to do that, so. Really not the biggest deal.
I really hate that boat, man. That is like the one part of Octoskip that's really nice is that boat's not there because that boat makes lily pad movement so much worse. And this isn't ain't none not no a no no hate. Oh my god, that is hard to say, even reading it. Like it's it's probably like really easy reading that to skip a word. This boat sucks. I hate this boat. Actually true though. Like that boat being there actually just like ruins all movement to that first lily pad, which just ugh. Very lame. Very lame. Agreed, Jess. No! Yeah, I, I actually don't know, Jess, because I've even isolated that section and, like, loaded save states. And, like, whenever I use a save state, it pretty much always behaves consistently. Like, I've never actually had it be inconsistent in any manner when using save states. I'll always get the same result, I just don't always understand the result I get, you know what I mean? It feels like it decides what it's going to do at the time that it comes out of the Deku Flower, and so your specific position as it's coming out probably matters, like, right away. And, um... We might just be, like, very close to, like, the break line that determines what action it's going to take. Claustrophobic. <laughs> I think a lot of people had you on that one, Hoofy King. <laughs> Uh, no, I took one too many steps forward. Yeah, it's something I've never spoken to imbued on, so... It, it's not- it's, it's something also I've never done, like in-depth testing of, either. I think it's definitely worth doing. This category is not beginner friendly. What am I doing? 
This category is not beginner friendly because there's a lot of stuff that if you're not fast enough, the in-game clock doesn't work out. Um, the in-game clock and like events corresponding with it are very, very tight in this category. You have to do a lot of things at a very specific speed. And if you just aren't fast enough, even as a beginner, uh, it, it, it's going to be very hard. You're, you're going to have to... If you're a beginner at this category, you straight up cannot run the route that I'm running. You won't be fast enough as a beginner. Unless you're willing to do, like, months of practice beforehand. Right? You're going to have to start with a different route if you want to run this category. Like, I, I definitely think there are ways you could change this route to make it more beginner-friendly, um, but there it, it will be necessary to make those changes. this segment up i always forget that i'm short of bomb here um i need to just not do the the double bomb strat the, the double bomb strat doesn't work out for this category so i i have to like soar out now and it's just it's just not good i think i decided this like a week ago too and i just forgot that the double bomb strat doesn't work for this temple because the bomb count doesn't allow for it unless I have an extra bomb draw. Like, even if I do bombs perfectly... That route, yeah, it, that route's more friend. There, there, there are a lot of changes that you could make to this route to make it more beginner friendly and still doable. So, like, if someone really did want to learn this category as their first category, totally message me and I'll help you reroute this category so that it has a lot more leeway in the, in the uh, segments that are in-game time dependent, right? That way you don't have to be, like, super fast to make all the in-game time events. Like, I'm down to, like, help someone reroute this because it wouldn't... We, we, we already have, like, probably a pretty good... Yeah, yeah, I'd say we already have a pretty good template of what, like, uh, a beginner route would look like. Just because of, um, the old 100% glitchless route, the one that preceded this one. That one was a lot more beginner friendly, and so we could use that one as, like, a basis. Probably. Any changes like that will, of course, make the route a little bit slower, but if it enables you to finish the route as a beginner and eventually work up to the point where you can run the fastest one, that, that would be what we're aiming for, right? Imbued's route? I do not remember Imbued's route. I have to... Oh, he has it on speedrun? Okay. I'll have to, like, read through it at some point. Ah, uh, I get Zora and Hookshot before going to Snow. Interesting. Yo, Fuzzy, thank you very much for the 114 bits. Oh, 
this angle is not good. Yo, thanks, Mena John. Ooh, early chateau. Does that mean it doesn't have to do rupee farming, like the RNG portion of the rupee farming? It gets to skip that? Dude, I always turn and slash for the owl statue like a frame early. It's always so close every time, but it's always one frame early. It's upsetting. Yo, thanks, Ferris. Good luck to you as well. Yo, Ferris, the full Mass Quest playthrough is out on YouTube now. The last video went out on Christmas. Jackie's been watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she mentioned that. I just want... I figured I, I, I should have expected that you would know that. <laughs> that is true. Not a great segment overall. A little bit of sloppy movement in a few areas, but I've certainly had worse. <laughs> it is true, that is true. not actually used a fight stick to play this game, but Cha-Cha has. The Ferris did a really, really good job editing those videos, though. Which speak I, I might actually have another project to uh, take a look at, Ferris. That one I know, that one I've heard before, actually, Hoofikin. Even though Zuner spoiled it, I am aware of the, the sneakers one. That one, that one I would know. It is not OT related yet, Furs. There will be OT related things. This after this project, probably. This is one of the last MM projects, more than likely. Yeah, that would actually help me a lot, Zuner. I would appreciate that. Link might actually be on deck, yeah? I'd be down for that. I want to play more ROM hacks. As bad as Mass Quest was, 
it did make me want to like hopefully find better ramen. Oh, I'm gonna play all the ice arrows missings. I think Jimmy just released uh, one of the new ones on his website on Christmas. So there's like even more ice arrow is missing now. We have so much ice arrow is missing to play. See, the best part about Ice Arrow is missing is the goal is to find Ice Arrow, so I don't actually ever have to use it. Because you win when you get it. It's great. I love it. <laughs> Dude, oh my, oh my god. Um... As far as... This run might be dead. That's really bad. If my hot spring water cools before I unfreeze the Goron, my run is dead. That's a really dumb mistake. There is a lot of extra time, so I think I'm fine. It's just, like, tight now. I gotta be quick. That's a really dumb mistake to make. We're good. I just lose a couple seconds. That's such a dumb movement mistake, though. I can't remember the last time I made that mistake, Jess. Oh my god. It's such an easy mistake to not make. It only happens if you're being greedy and literally trying to take the absolute inside of the curve for, like, a couple free seconds. Like, not even, just like a couple frames of save. <laughs> no, Jess! Uh, do you do that, Jess? I'll do it if you do it. You do that? Really? Heck, okay, I'll do it. Well, I'm not going to do it this run, though, because I've never practiced it before. It's probably really easy, but I'll do it starting next run because I'm a wimp. I'm a weenie. Oh, my God, Spectrum. Don't you dare. How come I can't have a stream anymore where Spectrum doesn't drop frames? Spectrum has dropped me frames almost every stream I've done in the past couple weeks, um, where, a, like, a couple months ago, I could do streams, and I would have streams where they almost didn't bother me for the whole stream, but I haven't had one where they have, like, haven't recently. Like, they've been a problem almost every single day that I stream. You know what I mean? Like, before it used to be like, yeah, they, they, they would take me down, they'd have really bad days sometimes, but most of the time I would at least be able to actually stream. But more recently, that's just not been the case. More recently, they've been a problem every single stream. Which is a little bit upsetting. Spectrum does hate speedruns, it is true. Well, I might have slightly higher speed starting next week. 
I don't know if it'll actually stop them from, like, whatever's going on. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna actually stop losing, like, dropping frames. But technically, I'll have higher internet speeds, hopefully, starting next week. I just, I just don't think it's gonna matter, though. I don't think the higher speeds are actually going to matter. I've told the story a few times, but for anyone who hasn't heard it before, the reason I think we're gonna get higher speeds is um, my my speeds that we get with our account with Spectrum is 60 down and like 10 up or something, but they actually offer 100 down and like 15 up to new customers, and we're probably going to threaten to cancel on them unless they give us those speeds. And the only reason that threat will hold any water is because we're also canceling our phone and our TV with them. So we're hoping that they can actually put us on their actual current plan. No, I have more than five up right now. Most of the time when I do a speed test, I, I get around seven, eight up. So I'm pretty sure it's probably 10 advertised. I did not, Jess. I have not been keeping up with it lately. What happened? Should have known the camera would have been like that. It's actually a way to know what the camera is going to do. Three hundred up, God, dude. Sample just got a big internet upgrade, and I'm so jealous. It's so fast. And save almost thirty seconds blowing up Goron Race Boulder before Snowhead Temple. Using like action swap to get past the ice Jess. Sick. That's really cool. See, when I go back to a hundred percent, record is free. I think it actually kind of is until Jess improves it. Or not Jess, dope. I'm, t I'm talking to Jess. But Jess is never gonna run 100%. That's just not gonna happen. I know, Flashfire, I did start at seven though. After all masks, you're doing 100%. Alright, so I can expect that in like two years, Jess, because if you take all masks nearly as seriously as you took Glitchless, you're gonna be on it for like the next two years. Yeah, there's no fiber available where I live either. It's very sad. 
Now, if I were to move uh, about a two-minute drive from where I am right now, I could get fiber. Pretty unlucky. <laughs> Oh, that is true, Jess. Alright, so one near. Is it a two? Alright, this trick is gonna work first try, and I'm gonna save 50 seconds by not failing this trick. There you go, we just saved like 50 seconds. Broken. This room is going terribly. Well, I imagine you'll have record in much less time than that, Jess, but I don't think All Masks has a very optimized record right now, so... <laughs> ben, Jackie, oh no! That no. split was really bad, and yet it was gold. That's really sad. <laughs> that was a terrible split. Like, completely awful in, like, every way. No, dude! I hate that, where you land, but then you immediately fall again. That's very sad. Of the ice. Okay, hey, arrow drop there is good. Means I don't need to refill in goat's room. So I need a magic drop here in this room. I 
So far, this second half of Snowhead has been very sloppy. <laughs> I'm already losing time on this split. It's really hard to not be dumb in this category. Not being dumb is always the really hard part of any 100% category, because you have to be, like, not dumb for such a long time. It's just way too long to not be dumb for that long. Like, I can, I can fake it for, like, maybe one or two hours, but, like, eventually the dumb has to come out. Right? I can't fake it for six hours. <laughs> Sounds like I should run any percent. No, no. It's too much first cycle. Even with first cycle skip, it's too much first cycle. Dude. Really sloppy second half of Snowhead for sure. Now, I'm only going to lose like 15, 20 seconds so far. I'm still going to be like massively ahead as it is right now. But... What's up, imbued? Welcome to bad speed run. Dude, I've done I've done my equips like the diagonal way this whole run. That's why I'm a minute ahead. Totally. Why is your name Candy Cane? I don't understand. Yoshi's name has like a candy cane font. It's got like red and white stripes. This is the first time I've seen this. The seven TV thing. Oh, yo, including. Well, that was a trip, God, if I've ever seen one. 
Don't worry, Nuz. I was already dumb right before you left. I got it all out of me. Just now. Yo, Maddie, thank you so much for the 22 month resub. Wow, I really lost 30 seconds on that split. Like, I knew it was bad, but I wasn't expecting to lose 30. Jesus. All right. Well, overall, I saved time in Snowhead, but that was not a good split. Yeah. Probably the worst split of the run so far. Yo, what's up, Butter? I forget where all my major time saves are. It's been like a week since I've done runs again. I know I had one in Snowhead and we got it and then I promptly lost like half of it. And then it looks like I lost a lot of time in Woodfall. Oh, great. Wow, Great Bay has so much time saved on these splits. Holy. Wait, so much. Actually crazy amount. And then, oh yeah, and then I got Bad Damp Bay, so that's a lot of time save if I get good. And then... A little bit in end game. Oh yeah, wait, 30 seconds on Majora. I forgot about that. I forgot about the 30 seconds on Majora. That's crazy. Did you end up losing the prediction because of that, Yoshia? I remember there being a prediction about whether that run was going to be a 546 or a 547. It was completely on pace to be a 546 until the Majora fight completely owned me. Imagine how bad the Majora fight has to go to somehow lose 30 seconds on it with Fierce Deity. Isn't dying to Majora with FD at all mass the uh, ZFG? Oh, that was the ZFG. The ZFG is with full hearts and double defense. I don't think anyone's ever died to Majora with full hearts and double defense without it being intentional. I'm sorry. I don't believe it for a minute. Hello? Hello? 
I don't trust it. I'm like 90% sure that would work. 99. And for some reason, I just can't trust it. I really should just trust it. Like, I've done so much testing of that. Like, what's the point of all the testing I've done of, like, different distances? That I never trust it, even though I did all the testing. Like, I feel like I have a pretty good eye for whether or not the powder keg's gonna work or not, but just because it kills the run if I'm wrong, I never want to risk it. But, like, I, I literally spent, like, a half an hour testing powder keg positions. And, like, making sure I had, like, a good eye for the distance. He took my magic! I'm gonna get owned right here. Oh, I didn't get owned. Okay. okay. We're chilling. A lot of spinning Gorons. He might try to pass me right here, but I should be able to block. Hey! What was the bomber code again? Can someone uh, get the command now? I, I think it was like three, two, one, four, five or something. Was it three, two, one, five, four? My movement has been very sloppy this run. Three, two, one, four, five. Your Palkia is named 32154. Okay, we're trusting the Palkia. We're trusting the, the Palkia. <laughs> I believe in the Palkia. Hop! Yup! Gluting! Pop! Palkia was right! Yo, Maddie, thank you so much for the gift sub to Trev Note. Huge. We need to work emotes into Trev Note's commands. Who's the 100th gonna be, Maddie? You have to pick it carefully. Herkenheimer gets Maddie's 100th gift sub. Oh my god. Maddie, thank you so much for the gift sub. Appreciate it very much. <laughs> that is absolutely insane. Thank you so much. 
100 years of gift subs. I'm curious, if I run against Balanced PB, where do I stand? I was running against Balanced PB last time and I actually really liked it. I thought it was interesting. Zero drop. I kind of wanted that magic too. So I'll get it on the way back. It doesn't actually really matter if I get it right now. address interesting it's funny because 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 like i have a big time save in early game if i switch to balance pb comparison i'm actually less ahead than just comparing straight up to my actual pb okay doesn't matter how bad this run is because i'm gonna get good dampe save a minute and a half and get a 545 this run right right wait that didn't hit that one Ah, 24. That's okay, but... That could have been like a 22, 21. Ugh. Ugh. If I don't get a 543, 21, you'll be very disappointed. I mean, I could... I'm actually more than that ahead. This is balanced PB key. This is compared to my actual PB. Boom. Look at all the time save. I was a minute ahead, you know, like 10 minutes ago, though. Ow. I managed to lose that rather quickly. Oh, no. I will try to not forget. I haven't forgotten to split this run yet. <laughs> I don't know if that's a, a parallel universe I want to live in, Kaio. I can't imagine using a Pona for anything. In, in a parallel universe where Goron Link isn't so freaking fast, we're actually just like learning a million Hesses. I think. Although I guess for this category, Hess is not an option. 
I guess, I guess for this category specifically, you are right in that it would have to be Bunny Hood or Opponent if Goron Link was slow. Let's go! A 46-7-8! Actually a good time. I keep losing time on every split. I'm just bleeding time on the movement. My movement these past couple splits has not been good. Quips, too, have also been bad. Gotta pick up the pace! I know, Jess. This run sucks. For lack of task equips. I mean, some of my equips that split were also just bad outright in terms of, like, when I chose to do them, though. Like, I didn't equip Ocarina immediately after using Powder Keg and Milk Road for some reason. It's so weird when, like, I know the proper way to do the equips, and yet I'm, in the moment I still, like, don't do it. Because I don't do enough runs. Honestly. And that's not like a segment I ever practice either. There's so much like stuff that's like higher priority. Most of my time loss in my current PB is actually dungeons. Oh, you including Yo, AJ, thank you so much for the 57 month resub. The run goes okay. We are we are bleeding a little bit of time, but I'm still ahead. We're, we're chilling. And my Christmas was good. A little bit busy, but the actual day of was relaxed at least. I'm chilling. How was your Christmas? How was everyone else's Christmas? Anyone else do anything fun? Shout outs to Enop. Driving his train. All these songs play. Honestly, just me too, and it made me feel really bad. But it was also very good. <laughs> oh my god. Not gonna lie. All right, a lot of the weight I lost, um, in the in the like the past couple months, from like exercising regularly, I gained back just because of Christmas. Didn't feel good. It's okay though. I'm just gonna lose it again. All right, <laughs> just gotta lose it again. I did it once, I can do it again. I wanted to not gain weight during Christmas, then my mom needs to stop buying Italian pastries on Christmas because those are not good for the weight loss. It's it's true. Factual. Just 
don't be a weenie, I mean. I guess. Oh yeah, potatoes. Doesn't know them. No, November, December, January are always like really bad months. Because <laughs> I live where there's generally a lot of snow, so it's actually harder to regularly exercise in the winter. And it has all the holidays that have like all the food and the desserts and the pies and the cakes and you know, the big dinners. And it's, it's, not, it's not a good couple months when I'm trying to lose weight. <laughs> it's okay though. It will give way to summer, and all will be well again. Yo, nice timber. I am really bad at buying gifts for people. I feel like I overthink my gifts constantly and I end up getting like super stressed about them. You know what I mean? And like, I know that happens to a lot of people too, right? Like I'm sure there's some people in chat who are like just like me in this regard. Like buying gifts is like such a stressful thing for me. I don't, I don't like it. I still do it because like I want to give people nice things when I can, but the lead up to it is uh, less fun. I practice this and I still bonk. Oh, that movement's hard. I need more practice. That's really fun, flash fire. <laughs> Is he owning then, flash fire? He's crushing it. God, buying a gift for you, Cha Cha, I don't even know where to begin. I actually have no idea what I'd get you. I'd have to think about that one long and hard, dude. I'm pretty sure my brain would just explode from the pressure. Not gonna lie, Cha-Cha. Oh yeah, TMZ, wait, that's actually really interesting. Getting lost in Breath of the Wild is like never really getting lost because there's always something to do. Like I've never been a huge fan of open world games and Breath of the Wild isn't my favorite Zelda game ever, but it's like definitely the best open world game I've ever played. Because I, I never felt like I was like lost, which I've always felt that way with like every other open world game I've played.
anything. That could have been a gold if I didn't bonk in sewers. My light arrow split, I think. No, I think uh, I have a Garrow Master split and my no hit splits, Keaton. I don't know if I do in Glitchless Hundo. But I do have a Garrow Master split in my no hit splits. Oh my god, really? What is going on, man? Alright, AJ. Have fun, have fun. Good luck. Thank you for stopping by. Happy New Year to you as well, AJ. Ah, the punch. I wish to try to avoid that. But... Mm -hmm. oh, Movement and equips this run have been a little sloppy. Probably just from like a week away. Won't stop me from PBing. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. I need my brain to turn back on. <laughs> I'm operating on like very little sleep right now, but that is like no excuse for what just happened. I did not sleep well last night, unfortunately. Which kinda sucks, but... Yeah, I got a cheat adapter for OOT Turkin, and I tried it for uh, MM, and it felt really nice. I had to stop using it, because otherwise I was gonna want to keep using it. Like, after, like, only a couple minutes of using it, I took it out. Because otherwise I wasn't- I was gonna not, not want to take it out. It felt so good. I think the only argument against not allowing them is because, like, of the cost that people would incur to get one. And, like, it, it, that is, like, the only reason we ban them, right? That, that's the primary reason I voted against them back in the day. And, I like, even though I really like my ESS adapter, uh, I stand by that. Like, it creates a barrier to entry. Green, green, blue, red, blue, red, green, blue, red, blue, red, yellow. Green, blue, red, blue, red, green. Nice, not a bad code. That actually saves a lot of time. Yeah, but a, good, a controller is actually necessary to play the game in general, whereas an ESS adapter is, like, something that at the moment is purely optional and is up to us to mandate. So, like, I can definitely, like, feel- I feel there is a distinction still 
I don't completely get behind that argument, Zuner. Is it actually? What am I doing? I literally practiced this segment, like, right before runs today. I still can't turn my brain on. No, I didn't recoil off the Skulltula, I just shielded it as it was coming down. like a whole bunch of stuff I practiced before runs today and it's just not going well. Like this room didn't go well even though I practiced it before runs. Like I'm just doing things wrong. Still gonna save time though because that mass quest or mass code was really fast. I, that was such a bad gold. I just got like a good mass code. That <laughs> that was not good. Hook shots were good at least. Yeah, wait. Here it is, the cheat adapter. I don't have more time to really show it off, but I will be using that for Ocarina of Time. For the freest angle changes in Hesses ever. like a really good S adapter too. I bought the one that uh, Danny B recommended to me and it's it's got like different settings for every single game and it feels really nice. Which I guess makes sense because the mapping is like not as bad for every game. Like they're all different. Yeah, I wasn't expecting like an LED screen on like the adapter itself with all the level of customization that it has. That kind of was kind of like much more than I was expecting from the adapter, not gonna lie. Like my cheat adapter came with a little LED screen on it that lets me like adjust all the settings and whatnot. I just got a GameCube one. I wasn't looking for multi-controller. I mean, I only use GameCube controllers, so... I have not, Turk, and I don't know what you're referring to. Well, 
What Turkin? That's to, to what end? What is the goal behind that Turkin? I assume it allows like you need a super specific position for like uh, the setup or whatnot. No, this is not Majora's Mask from the GameCube Collector's Edition. Uh, that version of the game is probably the worst version of MM for speedrunning. It's uh, emulated extremely poorly and never actually runs at the proper frame rate. I think it's just the worst version of Majora's Mask in general to play, like speedrun-wise and casually. Wii U is actually, I think, slightly better than GameCube, probably. Just because Wii U crashes less than GameCube. That is the only reason. Like, Wii U feels really bad to play, but other than that, at least it doesn't crash. That's kind of crazy, Turkin. I don't know how I feel about that. That is true, dude. That is true. I cannot walk straight. I, I have yet to find a controller that can walk in a straight line on the Wii U version of MM. It's so bad. It's so hilariously bad. I can't walk straight in Wii U is just because Wii U maps like the inputs differently. Like Wii U MM has like a lot more sensitive controls. The controls are really bad. Like they do not feel good. I, I feel bad for anyone whose first experience with MM was the Wii U version because they really messed up the controls in that version. It's not good. Um, the, the range of control was expanded significantly but in such a way that like most controllers can't actually properly walk straight. Even if, even controllers with a notch, like the notch does not actually make me walk straight. No, I can't bear. I tested multiple controllers and they're all notched controllers bear, right? So them being notched controllers, I could I should just be able to hold in the notch straight up and go straight, right? But yet none of my not I, I tested like three or four different controllers. None of them in the notch would walk straight on the Wii U version of Majora's Mask, but all of them in the notch walk straight on the Wii version. I tested all of them on the Wii and then all of them on Wii U. And all of them could walk straight on Wii and none of them could walk straight on Wii U. Oh, really, Imbued? I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> nice. I'm glad I could... Dude, I, I, I was just planning to do it during my run the entire time, Imbued. I didn't mean after stream. I was actually planning to get you that data during the run, I guess. Uh, 
Oh yeah, my sum of best is exactly sub 540 now. Or exactly 540, not sub 540. It is exactly 540, it is one second away from being sub 540. That is what I mean. I just need one more gold split. No, well, actually, I'm gonna gold something by like one frame. Oh my god, I hate this. The timing on that roll to bo like both uh, do that movement is weird. The first 46 ever. I mean, I'm sure someone's probably gotten a 46. I don't trust that. It probably would have worked, but I wasn't positive, and so I didn't want to risk it. <laughs> I'm crushing it imbued. I need seven rupees by the time we reach the tree. If I do not get at least up to 60 rupees before we reach the tree, I'm gonna lose a little bit of time to having to farm rupees. Yo, that's crazy, Jess. Those are some pretty good golds then, probably. Give me some rupees. All right, we got enough. I'd like one bomb drop now. That's all I'd like on top of this. Okay, we're good. We got two. Let's go straight there. They're both going to the left. What's up, Juan? Lord Trev. Unironically, when I was like 10 years old, uh, my RuneScape name was Lord Trev. Not even joking. <laughs> that was like 16 years ago now, though. Holy, that's a throwback. Honestly, Lord Trev was a better username than I would use in middle school, because middle school was when I started using the username Nintendo Gamer or the win. FTW. And that is uh that is a little more more than a little cringe. More than a little cringe. The username that I used in like most online forums when I was in middle school was Nintendo Gamer FTW. That was that was the name I used. Some of you guys even went to the trouble of locating my old account and finding posts from me. Cause they're still there. <laughs> they still exist. <laughs> Oh, 
I considered going and deleting it just out of shame, but like honestly, <laughs> whatever, man. <laughs> whatever. It's too late for me. Can we remove this gainer from the run? I hate this gainer. And I lose a ton of time to it every time I have to do it. I don't know why. I don't know how to do it better. I, I've, I, I've actually started considering doing the C-Up method. Yo, what's up, Sam? Sam, you have nothing to apologize for. It's fine. It happens. Big Daddy, I accept your apology, but don't do it again, all right? Only so many times I'm gonna take that. Yeah, I've been using Tread Person as like a user since like second or third year of high school, I think. Or maybe first, I think it was my first year of high school. Freshman year of high school was when I first picked up this name, I think. So I've been- how long is that now? Yeah. That I've been using it technically? Why did I take off Goron? Doing dumb things. Brain! Function! My first year of high school, I would have been 14, 15, right? I think I would have been 14, 15. So that would mean that I've been using this username over a decade now. No, there is. I'm gonna play Outer Wilds one day, but that's not it. It's not it. No, Jackie. <laughs> oh, Yoshi, have a good night. I will try not to forget to split. I haven't, I've been, I've been good about it this so far this run. This might be the first run where I don't forget a single split. Wooper only. Dude, using the Wooper I had in my party was, like, painful. Really, man? Wow, and then I get the instant ledge grab. Actually crazy. Ooh, cursed body can disable metronome. That's the strat. 
Like, does anything with Cursed Body get Metronome? Doesn't Gengar get Metronome? I'm pretty sure Gengar gets it. And has Cursed Body now. They took away its Levitate. It's not that hard, come on. I believe in you. Yeah, there's so many normal type moves, Creedy. Yeah, like any ghost type metronomers are probably broken as well as like rock and steel type. Just due to like, well, there's a lot of... Isn't there a lot of water moves, too? Uh, Z Chris, I already tested it extensively. That can't actually happen. I, I really wanted to know if that could happen, but I don't think it actually can happen. No matter how many times I tried and how I spaced it, the rock just never actually killed it. I never remember my dreams. I feel like, like I must have dreams, but I like never remember them. I've always been really, really bad about that. Like I feel like a lot of people are more able to talk about their dreams in more detail. And it's something that I've never been able to do. And I don't know if it's because I'm like so bad at sleeping or like what. I don't know why I struggle so much with this. Like, I can't, I can't remember any of my dreams in, like, the last several years, I feel like. And I've only had, like, one or two that I even remembered, like, the same day. Like, most of the time, I don't even remember them the same day. Like, I, I forget them too quickly. But there, there was one, I think, that I did remember at least for the same day, but then I forgot it shortly afterwards. <laughs>
Magic guard, dude. The rule should actually be you have to use six metronome machamps. The machamp is the only poke allowed, and you're all using no guard, and you just go. Oh no, <laughs> What did you do? I feel like that's a bad idea, TMZ, unless you get really lucky. early. I have nothing better to do. Hmm. I'm too fast for this route, and I really need to make the adjustment. I keep forgetting. Next run, I need to play Song of Inverted Time in Clock Town after getting the Stray Fairy or something. I need to delay when I play the song. It's something that must happen next run. easy to get into TMZ like what do I have to do yeah whenever any enemy dies in this game there's like three or four frames I forget if it's three or four but it's one of the two of like kind of like a freeze frame where it happens I don't know if those frames are skipped, though, or if the game... Like, I don't think the game actually lags. I think it's just, like, the game kind of freezes on those frames. time on this segment, Jesus. Frank Z. Oops. Spoilers. Franker Z, 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 Franker
dog it is. I really don't like relying on the white dog, though. He does not win as reliably as gold. Never. Gold didn't have a good message. Come on, don't fail me now, bud! Don't you dare! Oh, he's got good speed! And blue is gonna fall behind it! Yeah, there goes blue. See ya, blue! Good try. single split though. <laughs> need to pick up the pace. I think the reason I lost time there to PB is because PB got gold dog with a good message so I didn't have to go check other dogs though. So that time loss isn't really my fault. I just got better luck in PB. Like, I got absolutely perfect luck in PB. No, I'm running against actual PB right now. That was really lucky lemons, though. I should save time on this lemons. I think this is gold. I know, Bella. It's only appropriate during actual Frank Z's, though. Well, this is a gold. A very large one. Bloggers, bro! That is the fastest lemons have ever been for me. That was crazy good lemon look. Is a lot of time save actually holy okay we got first place dog so I have a full wallet and then how am I doing compared to balance PB right now I might even be behind no actually never mind I'm a minute ahead of balance PB what crazy I don't understand how balance PB works at all. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, did I get second place dog? Wait, I have to see my, my rupee count. Because my rupee count, uh, I'm either going to have around 150 rupees. Or 160, or I'm going to have around 200. And that changes what I do next. I got second place. Okay, never mind. So we have to do a slightly slower variant of the upcoming part. That's fine. But the possible time save on every split isn't equal, though, TMZ. Some of them have a lot more still. Okay, so second place dogs. Instead of doing the grottos next, I have to go get pendant first. We're gonna get pendant a lot earlier with this route. That way we can pick up the rupees that are in um, laundry pool because we need those now.
you? That makes sense. It's just kind of weird how it actually ends up working out. Okay. I've never had to do this rupee route in a run before, but it's like just slightly reordering things. And like I did practice it initially when I like learned the category again, but I haven't had to do it since then, so... Oops. It's not that different though. What's up, Mighty? I'm doing it so far, Mighty. I have a little bit of a lead on PB right now. Honestly, not so bad. All right, so yeah. normally I would turn around and go to the grotto, but because I have less rupees than normal, we're going to go this way instead. And events are going to be slightly reordered, but not by a great deal. We got to go to Laundry Pool right away, which normally we would do slightly later. We'd do it like a minute or two from now. But we're going to do it now instead. <laughs> Wait, was there a $25 tip? Did I miss it? How did I not hear it? Wait, Timber donated $25 said Merry Late Christmas, Trev. Yo, Timber, thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you as well. That is very kind of you. I'm shocked I still didn't hear it. <laughs> I have it turned up because I have an amp now from Poke, and it's just like, still didn't hear it. Trolling. All right, so I'm gonna deposit this 200, and then in the other route, I would withdraw 120. But now I withdraw 160. No, no, the earbuds aren't plugged into an amp. The earplugs are just for listening to Majora's Mask. I have a headset on my desk and it's plugged into an amp, but, uh, and so that I can still hear the donation alerts, I just have the amp turned up so that even though it's not on my head, I can still hear it. I forget the exact name of the amp. It was gifted to me by Poke, so Poke would know the exact name. Or, like, model of the amp. I've actually really liked it. I didn't think I was going to end up using it as much as I have, but it's actually been very helpful. No magic, really? Really use some magic. I've actually, like, discovered a lot of things recently that I never knew that I needed. But as soon as I had them, I'm like, wait, this is actually so insanely useful. How have I never even heard of this existed before? Because I literally had no idea, like, what an amp was for. I knew vaguely, like, some of the things that people might use them for. But, like, really, I never used one. I wasn't quite sure what one might use one for. But, like, how beneficial it could actually be. Now that I have one, I'm like, ooh, ooh, I can't operate without this anymore.
true, poke true. I do not, I think, Bear. What's my headset or my headphones again? It's like uh, Sennheiser 6XX, HD 6XX. I don't think that would qualify. Nice. Okay, wait, can I get the second one really fast? That is the fastest I've ever done that. Holy. Which also requires really good RNG because you need the bubbles to be facing the right direction for that to even work as fast as it just did. So that was like really good luck as well as like good execution. Yeah, yeah, I'm playing on a Ben Q. And it does have a jack in the back, but like I've never felt the need to do that. Thanks, Zoe Windrunner. Yo, Marco, thank you so much for the raid. Ah, uh, no, 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 don't do this. Kita's hitbox is so freaking bad. Okay, that was actually a pretty good fight. I believe I am saving time on this split. Well, I had 30 seconds to save. I'm definitely saving time. What's up, Menu? Menua? I'm very sorry. I'm very bad with names. <laughs> What's up, Unkayo? Seb Kawashimi? Welcome from the raid. I'm playing slow category, hopefully a little bit less slowly than last time. We got we got three hours of gameplay to go in this one. <laughs> a little bit more. No, you can do a lot of things while cursed exhaust. Uh, you you actually curse almost blocks out nothing. The only thing it blocks out is B button sword Hyksos. You can use Goron Punch, Zora Punch, Deku Spin, Deku Bubble. You can use Great Fairy Sword when you're cursed and Deku Stick. Like the only thing it blocks you out of actually is B button. It blocks you out of literally nothing else. <laughs> Goron Pound just happens to be a technically very good way of fighting Kida because Kida takes bonus damage from it even though it's very awkward to hit him. So even if the fight doesn't go perfectly, which it never does because that fight sucks with Goron Pounds, but it's still faster than most alternatives, unfortunately. Especially since uh, on English, I don't have Power Crap Stub. Oh my god, Marco, you raided just in time for I hate this jump. This jump sucks. I will certainly try, Ryu. I am on a PB pace right now, but we have three hours to go. Marco, if you're still here, how are your runs treating you today? I know you've been mixing in uh, SM64 and Majora's Mask, right, Marco? You're doing a little bit of both right now. I feel like running multiple games at the same time is really hard. I don't know how you do it. I could never do that. Here it is, the worst trick in this entire run. 
I, I've named this trick. This jumps, or I hate this jump. This jump sucks. Ooh, ooh, first try. I hate this jump. Let's go. No, if you get horizontal slashes like I just did, you have to, sh like, shield underneath the horizontal slashes. You want vertical slash because the vertical slash on the knuckle fight is slightly faster, but... The hitbox for it, Juck, is extremely bad. It's, it's not good, and a large portion of it actually doesn't let you jump off of it. A large portion of the surface that I just jumped off of forces you to slide, and if you slide, you just void. So that jump is actually one of the worst things in the run. I hate it. I hate it so much. That trick is not easy, Timper. <laughs> or, I mean, technically, okay. The trick is easy in the sense that, like, anyone here in chat could try it a couple times and probably get it. But getting that trick consistently is the hard part because of how dumb it is. Like, doing that trick ten times in a row is almost impossible. Because of how dumb it is. <laughs> how specific it is and how lacking in visual cues it is. Yo, Ryu, thank you so much for the 19-month resub. And STN, thank you so much for the 7-month Twitch Prime. You finished a 459? I mean, getting sub-fives is still good. Especially early on. Getting sub-5 is always a good feeling, even if it's not what it used to, like... I remember back in the day, it used to be this, like, super crazy achievement. I, I, I remember when I was pushing for sub-5, dude. I thought, I thought that was it at the time. I thought, like, this is gonna be one of the last major milestones for the category. And, um, I was way too new to speedrunning at the time, because... That's never actually how it works. Why do I always take off Goron here? I mean, it doesn't change a ton. It actually makes it quick. Is here, I guess. But... Yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a lot more consistency in that jump if you're, like, doing it from... The grave itself, like the grade load zone, not from like all the way at the door. I've tried speedrunning multiple games at the same time before, Marco. I can only do it if like one of the games is like pretty low on like mechanical intensity, you know what I mean? Like, I remember back in the day, I would run Pokemon on the side, and there's a little bit of mechanical, like, mechanics required in that game, especially at the beginning, because you have to maintain, like, a, an RNG manip that requires pretty perfect movement at the start. But then after that, it's, like, much tamer. It's, it's And that, that's right at the beginning, so it was actually, like, the perfect companion game at the time, I remember. Yeah. Running MM and SM64 at the same time, I I do not envy you. Sounds crazy difficult. Yeah, we need to finish Iron Man. That's, that's, that's happening this week, for sure. One way or the other, I'm either going to die or finish that this week, Fuzzy. Hopefully not die. Dying would be sad. <laughs> no, Tipper. I want to beat it. It's the furthest I've ever made it. 
Uh, Iron Mon is like a challenge rule set in Pokemon games. It's just like something I've been doing on the side from speedruns. Where you're not allowed to grind and all trainers have... It's, it's all done on a randomized seed. So everything everything's random, like moves, abilities, the Pokemon you encounter. Um, and then... It has perma it has Pokemon permadeath, no grinding allowed, and all trainers have fifty percent increased level. Those are like the big big rules. And also you're not allowed to buy items. The only items you're allowed to use are the ones you find, which are also randomized. So you don't have consistent healing unless you find a lot of healing items. Which is honestly one of like the big things that really makes it difficult. I could just have like a million hyper potions. That would be sick. That's not how it works. <laughs> I don't know if Kaizo Iron Mon is for me. Maybe. Maybe. Let me finish ultimate first. <laughs> and then we'll see. <laughs> if I die in ultimate fuzzy, Kaizo isn't for a while. Poke okay, the only items you're allowed to buy in Iron Mon are Pokeballs and Repels. Those are the only items you're allowed to buy. Everything else you have to buy. Also, Chevy Shop, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I think I missed it. Appreciate it very much. Or maybe I did say thank you and then you just got two thank yous, but I, I'm pretty sure I missed it. Okay, okay, okay. My summer best did get to sub 540 this run. My summer best at the beginning of this run was 540.08, I think. We, we have improved it a little bit. Woodfall Temple I know I have around 30 seconds to save in. I don't remember why I have that 30 seconds to save, though. I don't know what happened. I think a lot of it was the Adalwa fight, kind of. I lost control of. I actually have a lot of time save in the upcoming segments. I can save a lot of time in both Woodfall and Great Bay Temple. I'm likely to lose a lot of it back to Dampe. Although, if I get good Dampe this run, it's gonna, like, we're finally gonna have a good PB if I don't choke somewhere. Because if, like, I get my Great Bay time save and Dampe time save, I'm going to be, like, four minutes ahead. Only if I get all of them, though, right? That's that's in the ideal world, if that all comes together. Hopefully it does, but... The chance of getting good Dampe is not in my favor, actually. Would be nice, though. Would be neat. Thanks, Wow Tang. Huh? 
The Great Bay time save is from everything. My PB just has, like, terrible Great Bay. Like, I'm trying to remember what specifically happened, but as I recall, like, I had a really bad Seesaw Room, I think. I think Seesaw Room was really bad in PB, as well as, like, I struggled with... God. I'm trying to remember, like, I, I, I have a bad... I think I had a bad wart fight. <laughs> A lot went wrong in Great Bay Temple. Great Bay Temple is one of my biggest time saves in the entire run. And if I lose time on it, that must mean like something absolutely catastrophic happened. Hoggers, <sighs> bro! Gecko fight in PB, I think, was good. I think I got the strat, but then managed to lose it anyway. Like, the time to Adala. Oh, I think, was this fast in PB? Ooh, but that, okay, that was good. That was good. One miss, one miss. For anyone who doesn't know, that torch isn't supposed to be hookshotable, but it has one line of pixels at the very top that are hit like you can hookshot. So it's actually like a very specific spot you need to aim for. It's very dumb, don't like it. <laughs> Worst trick in the run. Other well, no. It's actually not that bad, but it is. It's it's stupid, but not that bad. <laughs> I think the worst thing about that uh, that very precise hook shot at the start of Woodfall is uh, because it's so precise and because of how aiming works in this game, there's a whole bunch of places that if you aim at them, you actually can't hit the proper pixel, right? If you move up or down, you'll keep moving too high or too low, if that makes sense. Like, you'll never be right on it because you can't move, like, the smallest unit that would be required to hit it properly. Um... Um, why did I forget that equip? That equip. <laughs> me too, DF, me too. <laughs> it is tragic. Ooh, let's go! Okay, big time. Well, I think my PB got that too, so I'm not losing time, but it always feels good to get that strat because that strat is so very dumb. That is one of the hardest strats in the run to actually execute on. That is like the hardest trick to execute in the run that has like nothing random to it. There's, like, as far as I know, no randomness to that trick whatsoever. It's just really hard. Hop! Yup! Gluting! Hop! Yo, Phoenix, thank you so much for the six-month resub. Appreciate you very much. I need you and you. Shots. Shots. <laughs> 
Now just don't bother me, Dragonfly. Alright, second Dragonfly, don't bother me. Only one Dragonfly, I guess. Whatever. Actually, really good temple overall. Not perfect, but pretty... Pretty dang close. That, that entire dungeon felt really, really good. So I will save a lot of time here as long as this fight doesn't go off the rails somehow. And it did not. It went perfectly. Wait, this is a colossal gold. That was a really good woodfall. Bloggers, <sighs> bro. Wow. Wow. Gently remove everything and add one of my choice. Non never has me always gently. I haven't had Jolteon on the windowsill in a long time. How much time have I lost to my Summer Best at this point in the run? Only a minute. That's pretty good, actually. That's not bad. <laughs> and I still feel like this run is really bad. <laughs> Oh no. I'm glad to be able to help Predadorak. Oh, you including Yo, Captain Falcon Man Bro, thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate you very much. Thank you so much for the 18 month Twitch Prime as well. Appreciate you very much. this very seriously TMZ which I mean there will be other people who take it seriously and those will be the people who probably win so I guess I cannot fault you <laughs> all right all right this is a really big lead for this point in the run I think now I'm 75% of the time we lose a minute or like well no I'm running against a set of splits actually that has bad dampe so never mind, this lead's kind of crazy. Because I'm running against Bad Dampe and have a two-minute lead. So I won't even lose this lead to getting Bad Dampe. I could just get an even bigger lead if I get good Dampe. That's kind of crazy. Fish heart piece in uh, PB behaved. It behaves in most runs, Chevy. It's very rare that you get owned by fish heart piece. It truly is. It shouldn't happen most of the time.
Unfortunately, sometimes it does not. Sometimes it does not, like... Ah, uh, no! Really? I... I feel like him showing me the Deku Princess there instead of starting the cutscene had something to do with it being done right out of the pause menu, because I was definitely in range. The range for depositing Deku Princess is very, very large. Must have been like a weird interaction, I think. <laughs> Does Metronome just become Max Guard in a Dynamax fight? I'm glad you'd enjoy them, Predadora. Thank you, Canute. I'm owning my counting today. I have once again proven that I indeed can count to at least six. Crushing it. getting over these gaps, says Goron. It's really bad. Get out of the way, butler! He's ruining my movement! Mask of Sense is, for the sake of this category, a useless mask. All it does is get you access to blue potions much earlier in the game, but we have no need for blue potions at any point in the speedrun. a good butler race. Good butler race indeed. 
Freaking zooming. Majora actually is not my favorite game of all time. Majora, Majora's Mask is my second favorite game of all time. My first favorite game of all time, unfortunately, does not have a super exciting speedrun. It's not the worst speedrun ever, though, because it does have some, like, clips and sequence breaks in it. But a lo it's very long, and a large portion of it is not quite exciting. My favorite video game of all time is the original Xenoblade Chronicles. No, Definitive Edition is actually really good. Definitive Edition actually is the Definitive Edition. I was just trying to make sure we were clear that it was Xenoblade Chronicles 1. The, the remaster on Switch of Xenoblade Chronicles actually is better than the original. And I would recommend it over the original. It's a very, very good remaster. Yeah, my favorite game ever is Zelda 2. <laughs> Get out of here. Hello? Hello? Interesting. I don't know why it wasn't hitting. It should hit. Wait, what am I doing? Can someone in Trev note put Pinnacle Rock? I feel like my Pinnacle Rock on English is really, really bad. Like, my Pinnacle Rock on Japanese is much better than my Pinnacle Rock on English. Like, this entire area, the way you execute it between the Japanese and English versions of this game is... It's completely different. And I've not practiced my English variant of it quite enough. Like, I've got the Japanese variant down, but my English variant is actually just kind of sloppy. It's kind of lazy. Backwalking underwater is actually faster than swimming, believe it or not, Vita. As crazy as that sounds. Ah, I finally forgot a split. Xenoblade is a JRPG that I think has a really, really good story and characters. It has a combat system that's heavily influenced by MMORPGs, but it is completely like a single-player RPG. But the combat in it is very much expired, inspired by, like... I'm not sure which MMO to cite specifically, right? There's probably an MMO that has, like, the closest in terms of its combat. But, like, the combat in Xenoblade is, like, you control one character, and there's two more characters in your party that are AI-controlled. Um, five of the available characters have good AI, and two of them you should always control yourself. Uh, <laughs> but um, the other five have good AI, so that's good. And then... Um, it has, like, an aggro system where you can, like, bounce aggro around your different team members to determine who's getting attacked as well as um it also it, it's like your abilities are some they're called arts and they all have their own individual cooldown that is all the only thing preventing them from being used for the most part 
You just have like a, a command list of arts at the bottom and you can press them to use them when they're available. And then they go on cooldown. Getting hookshot before snowhead would help a little bit, but it's ultimately not worth it. It's slightly slower. It's, it, it's close. I think in any percent glitchless, getting hookshot early was only a few seconds slower than not. But it is a big detour, so it has to save time back to make up for the detour that it takes to get it. You know what I mean? And it doesn't quite make up enough. It's very close. Um, I think so, Jess? P Pirate's Fortress has never been first in this category, I think. Unless there was, like, a timing that I missed somewhere. I am winning a little bit at the moment, Nuz. I am almost two minutes winning. All right, Bella, have a good night. You actually caught a lot of the run tonight, Bella, because, you know, I started streaming at, like, not past 8 o'clock for once. Crazy. How that works out. Good, perfect. I know it's this is a time that I want to start as well like this this is what I want my normal t uh, stream schedule to be and it's something I'm still working towards I'm hoping that 2022 is gonna be like a big year where I can like really set myself a schedule and keep it it's it's always been my biggest struggle and the biggest thing gating me both in like my personal life and like streaming I've been really bad at keeping schedules it's something that I want to improve in myself is a big goal of mine for next year. Jess. I don't know why I didn't think of that. <laughs> yeah, shows how little I've ran this too, Jess, let's be honest. No, Predator. <laughs> no, 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 no.
All right. Still a minute 44 ahead, and I have really big time saves coming up once we're inside Great Bay Temple. I really hope I get them, but Great Bay Temple is probably one of the hardest parts of this entire run. It's got, like, the most nonsense going on in it. Quite a lot of nonsense. What? I appreciate it, Predadora, because if it goes really well, I can save 50 seconds on the Ice Arrow segment and 20 more on the Yorick segment. So across the two splits that make up Great Bay Temple, there's over a minute of time save. I could come out of Great Bay Temple if it goes perfect, which it never does, but if it did, I could come out three minutes ahead. Be pretty muddy. Yo, thanks, Thomas. That jump looked like a glitch to you? Well, it's not. So take that. Actually, if I had to guess what's going on with that jump, the only reason that, like, little Goron Pound works is that the ground that, like, the Goron Pound checks for to see if you're landing, um, isn't, like, it's slightly larger, maybe? Like, the Link's collision below him is slightly larger than his collision above him? That's all I'd have to guess, because you Goron Pound up, and you're, you're slightly to the side of the ledge. So you go up above it, but then when you come back down, you land on it. Or is it just a one-way floor? That'd be, that'd be more boring. That was some lag. That was some lag. All right. Come on, Great Bay Temple, behave. All right, just behave this one time. <laughs> Yo, that's pretty sick, TMZ. It's 8th gen though, right? Like, the rain isn't infinite, and it's it's single, so it's like harder to take advantage of that, I feel like. Like, rain combos are... especially in something as uncertain as metronome... aren't crazy. Like, I think the only thing that in, like, actual, like, Pokemon battles nowadays that uses weather, at least in singles, if you... Because weather is much more limited than it used to be in 5th gen and before, the only thing that rain teams do nowadays is hyper offense. Because of how few turns they have to work with. Like, I think all rain teams pretty much 
play a hyper offense style. Yeah, yeah, the 100% definition across all 100% categories is pretty much the same. If there was a difference, it's usually included in the category name, right? Like, 100% uh, NSR doesn't have the source requirement, but is otherwise the same. Okay, Great Bay Temple. Let us see how it First room, it really has anything going on in it. I swear, that happens like every time in runs. When I do that trick in practice, that never happens and I can't explain it. I can't find out why. It's so strange to me why that happens. I don't get it. I don't get it. The only thing that's gone wrong so far is that one little thing with the ledge, which for the life of me, I cannot solve whatever's going on with that. It never happens in practice. I can do that trick like 20 times in a row in practice and it doesn't happen. So I, I don't know how to fix it because it never happens in practice. It's very weird. Very strange. How do you fix something? It only happens in runs. And it happens like consistently in runs, but not in practice. 
Come get it. It's freaking patched in uh, KZ. Yeah, but pluck is a terrible move, Lou. <laughs> All right, here we go. Come on, more. Behave, behave, behave. He's not behaving. He's not behaving. His he's going away from me, so he's too hard to hit. He needs to like slow down. He's going too fast for me to hit. He's. Oh my God. I can't hit him. This is really bad luck. too high. Oh my god, I'm not saving any time on the split. This strat is so bad. Unless you get really good luck, it just doesn't work. Oh my god. Well, there goes all possible time save on that split. I save nothing, and I'm sad about it. Actually, I'm gonna save a little bit, but not nearly as much as I should. I'm gonna save like two seconds. <laughs> Dude, I could have saved 50 if Wart just behaved. I hate this, man. I hate that strat. It's so bad. One of the worst strats in the run, I think. It's like so RNG dependent. And if you get good RNG in the warp fight, the fight's over like instantly. And if you don't get good RNG, then what just happened happens where it takes like an extra 50 seconds. I mean, I'm still fine. I, like, I, like, I still save time compared to PB. Like, everything's fine. It's just, you know, I could be like two and a half minutes ahead right now. I could be much more ahead. And that's kind of what I'm upset about. It's like, I want to be even more ahead. I want a bigger PB. That room's a little weird because you have to treat it differently depending on how quickly you get the fairy. So this split is good. What is my favorite song in Majora's Mask? Uh, either Stone Tower Temple, Astral Observatory, Milk Bar, or Final Hours. Those are my top four, I think. to just choose one of those. If you forced me to choose one of those, I would struggle. I might choose Milk Bar or Final Hours. It's hard to say. I feel like what I would choose of those four actually changes depending on the day. No! I fell just off! Oh my god. It was almost really fast. <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
quick little bonk. Destiny, this run is mediocre, but it's two minutes less mediocre than my PB, so I guess it's fine. There's been a lot of dumb stuff in this run, though, for sure. A lot of, like, really dumb mistakes. I'm trying, those, it's really hard. Ah, no, I went too early. I waited just a little bit longer until he committed to one more jump. Then he would have been, like, locked in the jump as I jump slashed into him. Oh, yo. Yo, Fox, thank you so much for the 74 month sub. And for the good luck. Next week is OT week, Destiny, I am aware. I'm not ready. I am legitimately not ready. <laughs> What's up, Chicken Nugget? <laughs> Means I'm gonna speedrun OT Consultant. It's been six years coming, and I can't escape it any longer. I have to run 100% consultant, like regular 100%. Without, without SRM though, without SRM. No SRM. I hope no one expects my first run to be good because I, despite having six years of knowledge that this was coming, I have not prepared very well. Because I'm still running MM at the same time. <laughs> No, consult- not nearly enough. I've begun practicing, but I've actually just not made as much progress as I would like. It's gonna be really bad. Like, I'm gonna take it seriously afterwards, but my first run is gonna be so awful, it's gonna be meme tier. Which is exciting in and of itself, but... You're hoping for an 802? Honestly, nice. I could see it. Okay, uh, that second half of Great Bay Temple, actually really good. 
Did not get the quick draw jump slash though. I hate quick draw jump slash as Zora because the timing is not the same as human. It's so frustrating. So hard to be good at both. <laughs> nice X Master. Gotta do my best bada bun com uh, cosplay. Maybe like mix in, mix ZFG's run with the TAS a little bit while I'm at it. Remove Jolteon already? Put Trev Eyes Frog in its place? Alright, it is done. It actually is possible to single cycle Gjord, but not without glitches. Bloggers, bro! Ooh, that is a really good gold. What? That, that gold was, that split was actually like really solid all around. I think there was like very few seconds of mistakes. I never thought of that, Jess. Maybe? I kinda wanna time that now. I, th I think it should be. If I had to guess which one was faster, the jump slash is faster, for sure. I mean, probably the best is side hop, but it's kinda hard when the fins are out, so jump slash. What's my best Pokemon impression? Uh, the YouTube video that Ferris has of me as Electabuzz. Does anyone have that video? It's the best one I've ever done. <laughs> Alright, Predatoric, have a good night. Why wouldn't that be a command poke? Let's be honest. Oh, yo, Gruding. Yo, Seb, thank you so much for the 70 month sub. It's a Trev Extreme right there, if I've ever seen one. about Creedy and STM were on the same page there. Ridiculous question. Why wouldn't it be a command? Jeez, Poe. Jeez. So imagine, by the way, guys, I just, I just golded the second half of Great Bay Temple. I saved 50 seconds. Now imagine for a moment if I had gotten, if I had gotten the 50 seconds of time save on the warp fight. If the warp fight hadn't been so completely awful. Just imagine for a minute. I could be a bump like over three minutes ahead. Like this run, despite being sloppy in a few areas, is actually like really nice throughout most of it. It's kind of nuts. I 
I really want to play this section, like, less safe than I do. But, like, me being this early is dependent on getting, like, a really hard bonk in Great Bay Temple. But I did get this run, but I don't always get... I feel like, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I wonder if I'm this early, if I should just like forgo bunny hood and use like stone mass. That way I can be closer here to save like two, three seconds. I don't know. Nothing fuzzy. It just happened to be extremely unlucky today. I came here. That spot. Usurp my dominance. I've never seen a glitch in this game that causes, like, any of the NPCs to, like, uh... <laughs> to T-pose, actually. Is that a thing that can happen in this game for any reason? Thank you, Temper. Well, I think Dampe is probably about to let us down, Temper. But other than that, the rest of it is in my control. And thankfully, I'm running against bad Dampe. Hello? He normally does not guard this much. I think I was too close. It's really bad. Losing some time here because the Wolfos was rolling me. Yes, Dampe is random. He's completely out of the player's control. The way the way Dampe works in this game, uh, you have a 75% chance of getting bad luck, 25% chance of getting good luck. That's really all there is to it. Which is why this prediction is crazy, because this prediction is favoring good luck, even though it's a 25% chance. That prediction literally completed favoring good luck, even though good luck is far less likely. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. for the dampster himself. RNG in this game is pretty complex. It's pretty impossible to manipulate because 
From what I can tell, it takes your camera angle into position, um, as well as any NPCs or anything in the game that calls RNG, as well as all your inputs all get factored into the RNG function. So manipulating RNG in this game is extremely impractical, if not impossible in a real-time setting. It's totally possible in a task, but in a real-time setting, nope. Hey, there's one flame. So now that we've confirmed one flame, we have a 33% chance of good RNG. We need two more. Two flames. It's now a 50-50. There are two spots that have a flame. One of them does. One of them doesn't. I ruined it, Temper. I needed all that money. Okay, it better be this spot. Otherwise, we have to go all the way to the other one and we're gonna lose the minute and a half that I could otherwise save. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Dude. I got a perfect Poe fight! Oh my god, this might be gold. on the black screen here. Poggers, it is gold no. by one second. <laughs> Let's go, that's a poggers. Well, I am four minutes ahead now because I got good dampe. Dude, this run's gonna suck so much to run against, though. I hate running against good Dampe. <laughs> I want good Dampe when I'm actively doing the run, but then afterwards, when I have to run against it, it sucks. Everything's terrible. <laughs> Just make this my last run? I mean... <laughs> This run has not been flawless throughout, though. It can be improved. It can be improved. <laughs> ah!
Okay, well, that is a four minute lead. Five. My sum of best is now a 538. It started this run at a slightly above 540. I've been golding a lot of splits today. Crazy. I want the break face. <laughs> I need a break after what just happened. Sorry. Maybe, maybe in a future run I'll continue. I mean, so even if I get bad Dampe in a future run, I still can beat these splits because I lost a lot of time at Georg and I lost a lot of time in Snowhead. But my second half of Great Bay in this run was really freaking good and my my Woodfall was really, really good in this run too. Like, there's been several parts of this run that were like crazy good. I don't know. Running against this these splits is going to be weird for sure. It's gonna be a little bit intimidating if I, as long as the end game also goes well. If for some reason end game doesn't go well, then I guess running against these could be easier. But I'm still gonna try to get like a perfect end game if I can. I don't want to throw end game. Oh, I meant to say Wart. I meant to say I lost a lot of time at Wart, not Georg. Georg was perfect. Incorrect statement. Yes, yes, yes. I lost a lot of time at Wart, not Georg. <laughs> the best part about that is actually like I am no like definitely not in sync with stream whatsoever when I hummed that because my capture card is like one second delayed so I was slightly out of sync when I hummed that for sure but I hope it bothered all of you <laughs> I hate this shot, man. This shot is extremely precise. Oh no, did I remove Blassie? I don't remember removing Blassie. FFZ emote slots. But as far as I know, the only person who's ever got more uh, FFZ emote slots had to make a deal in order to do it. There's one person I know of who has more than the 50 FFZ emote slots, and the reason they have more than 50 is they wanted to have every single cat bag emote on the platform. So he made a deal with the people who made FFZ. He's allowed more than 50 FFZ emote slots, but he's only allowed to have the cat bags. I actually don't remember who that is. I wish, I wish I remember. I don't remember who. 
But, but they have like over a hundred FFZ emote slots, and they're all just different variations of cat bag. <laughs> like... Yo, what's up, Trebuchet? Yo, Trebuchet, I'm on a run right now of some variety. I just got good Dampe. Yo, we need Anime Boy cat bag. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's pants. It's pants. I think it is pants. That sounds right. I believe Glitchless... Or, no, no, no. Glitchless does not allow the torch slash strat anymore, I think, because it's like, it's for the same reason that the wind thing. Or no, 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 no. Tor torch slash strat is allowed. It's, it's, it doesn't actually force you to hover without the wind. <laughs> I don't blame you, Light Ma. <laughs> That minigame is not particularly exciting. Yeah, so the, the torch slash strat is allowed. I just don't use it because it's annoying. As you keep hearing the, uh, the beeping sound over and over and over again. Was that too early? If you play this song too early after the, the plant grows, it doesn't count. Okay. My camera's messed up now. No, the torch strat is where you just move to the edge of one of the platforms and jumping minigame and just keep slashing your sword over and over. Slashing your sword over and over moves you on and off the platform extremely rapidly, and every time the torch comes to your island, you'll get seven points. Or like eight points or something. I don't use it just because it's kind of dubious. Like, I don't think it's considered a glitch, but there's no reason to use it. It's kind of just pointless. I think I should lose a few seconds here due to the ice platform not cooperating on my way to jumping minigame. But only a few seconds. Five, hopefully max. Do I have much time save left in the run? No, I really... The, the biggest time save left in the run is the Majora split, where I have 30 seconds to save. Other than that, there's not a lot left. Oh, I actually lost a lot of time on the split. A little bit over time. Bad split. Yo, nice, Timper. Your nudge, you've been following for 69. Uh, I don't think 
The MM community has a single runner who is the face of it at the moment. The only runner who's ever really been the like something like that is Enop. And with him gone, I wouldn't say I I, I don't think I could comfortably say anyone. As far as viewers go, uh, me and Pope get the most. But I'd, I wouldn't consider either of us the face of the community. Yeah, sample name is actually the face of the uh, MM community. I agree. But Phil doesn't play MM anymore. So that doesn't really work. Uh, Enop retired because streaming was not paying the bills for him and his child. I think was the reason he put out. All right now that he has kids, I think he has two kids now. Um, he needed a job that paid more. So now he conducts trains. Yeah, any hype train in an MM stream is conducted by Enop. It is actually like part of the lore. Okay, okay. End of the cycle is shaping up to be pretty good. right now, Jess. A good deal. Not enough, though. Like, this run is so sloppy, Jess. You saw some of the things that happened. But it got good damp aid. It had a really good second half of Great Bay Temple and a really good woodfall. This run is so weird. It's so indicative of, like, so many of my runs. Where I'd say some parts of this run, like a couple specific ones, are nearly perfect. And then the rest just sucks and I hate watching it. <laughs> Truly, that is speedrunning in its purest essence. This run sucks. It just sucks less than my other one. <laughs> no, this run has had mixed RNG and mixed gameplay. It's just very specific small parts of it have been perfect. Yeah, my beginning was a lot worse than my mid game this run. My mid game, my woodfall, and my second half. All of Great Bay Temple, except for the warp fight, Jess, was really good. The warp fight just did not behave, though. Like, warp was zooming. Like, so fast. I could not actually get the jump slash. I 
That was really good luck on Egos. Yeah, the second he starts moving really fast, Jess, that trick just becomes so awful. Because not only do you need to get him, like, on the proper, like, up-down cycle, but you've, like, lost control of your positioning versus his if he's moving... Especially if he's moving sideways really fast. Although, if he's moving forward back too fast, too, it can cause your jump slash to so, so, really, you just want him to stand perfectly still and die. That is the ideal wart RNG. That strat is a little bit less bad with, uh, Great Fairy Sword, though, Jess. The Great Fairy Sword version of that trick I don't mind too much, because there's a lot more leeway since I think the hitbox of the sword is bigger. I, I've never struggled with that trick with Great Fairy Sword as I have with Gilded. Like, when I have to do the Secret Shrine one, it's not nearly as bad. But yeah, I just got an unlucky fight where he was zooming Jess, and he gave me a really short eye cycle. I haven't watched the newest lowest percent vid in its entirety, but I know it's uh, based off like, or it's, it's about like first cycle stuff, and like skipping to the moon in Majora's Mask. And I know I appear in it very briefly. Mainly because I, I have not actually messed with that stuff that much, so I was surprised I appeared in it at all. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's not my, uh, forte, generally. Finishing up cycle two, almost four minutes ahead. That is pretty nuts. Cycles three and four left. God, I really wish this was actually near the end of the run, but we still have like two hours almost of gameplay left. <laughs> it just feels so final. It feels like it should be the end of the run, but it's like, no. No, 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 no. We have a lot of stuff to do still. <laughs> I think the reason it feels so final is because one of the first 100% categories I ever ran, Elegy was like the last thing before the moon. And so just based off that first hundo route that I ran, like Elegy always gives me like the end of run vibe. You know what I mean? It's like really hard for me to remove myself from that first 100% run that I ever did. Bloggers, bro! <laughs> yeah, fuzzy. <laughs> oh my god. Looks like we're on pretty solid 542 pace. Which, god, 542 would be such a good time! <laughs> oh no. Yeah, Jess, remember when I said I want, like, I wasn't sure if I wanted, like, a sub-540? 
Wait, why do I have Gibdo mask equipped? I meant to equip couples, and I didn't even notice that I had the wrong mask on. Nice. I mean, they're basically the same color, so I guess that's why I didn't notice, but... Why would I do that? Why would I do that? <laughs> I mean, if it works, it works, Nuz. I don't know if you'd give me the heart piece for that resolution, though. I just want to beat this run, Jazz. <laughs> I hate this run. Do I even care about the time? I just, I just want this run to not be the record. <laughs> the early game is so sloppy. I don't care how good the mid game is. I mean, I do kind of care. The mid-game was kind of good, but... But still. No, I'm not gonna throw it, Rixa. <laughs> we don't throw runs here. Well, I mean, I throw runs, but I don't throw them intentionally. I definitely throw runs. <laughs> it's never... <laughs> it's never on purpose, though. I got good damp RNG this run. When was the last run I lost to absent mindedness? Ooh, that's actually a good question. So I have lost runs to being kind of like inattentive at points. When I really should be. I cannot recall the last specific instance of that happening. Because it's it's not common. It's definitely not common. I lose a run to answering a question that somebody asks mid-run, though, that's completely my fault. I should only be answering chat questions when I actually have the time. I know, Nuz. Dude, this minigame used to be such a problem for me. And what ended up fixing my problem with this minigame, Nuz, ultimately, was um, when I switched, when I started hitting on the on the wave of five, the really hard wave nose, where I hit them now when they like first start coming up to buy myself extra time, right? That's how I started doing it to improve. I haven't really had a problem with that since. That was kind of what fixed my issue with that mini game.
<laughs> Base JP, dude. Well, Townie, I am on a run right now that is... If it were to finish on this pace, would be quite ahead of my PB. Fairly large margin. World record is the PB splits I'm running against, so the 547.19. All right, Tony, I'll do my best. That's really good. I need to void like no. Okay, I spent a little bit more in-game time than I should have in that grotto, so I'm gonna take a safe route through Clock Town. It spends less in-game time, but gets is it's like loses real time in order to make sure I don't miss Blast Mask. Because if I miss Blast Mask, the run is dead. So let's not throw it that way. Losing time to those load zones. I haven't done rando in a little bit, so I might do something with rando soon. I was thinking of doing ice arrows is missing soon. Because those, those look really, really fun. I've been meaning to do those actually for like over a year now. I actually do find Keaton Quiz uh, easier on JP just because I've practiced it more. I can recognize the answer more quickly on Japanese than I can on English. Crazy as that is. I did that once already, Rick, so I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm ready to do that again. I don't know. Oh, I didn't do it with entrance rando at the same time. No, 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 no. I did not do that. Chicken Nugget, why are you posting a lot of Trev sad? What's got you down?
Dude, this entire cycle is, like, not that exciting. Stone Tower Temple is kind of neat, but it's not nearly as hard as Great Bay Temple, and it's just... This entire temple in Glitchless is really, really slow. In Glitched category, Stone Tower Temple is a really fast temple, but in Glitchless, it's a lot of elegy, and a lot of the rooms are slower. Really, Aaron? That's interesting. Did you have, like, family members you used to play it with when you were younger around this time? Because uh, there's, like, games like I... This used to be when I, I would play Zelda with my dad. Like, I, there were a lot of Christmases growing up where I'd get a new Zelda and I'd play it with my dad. And so I used to have, like, a similar thing going on. That scared me. That's why we don't stand by the edge of the platform when we play Elegy there. Sometimes the rock hits you. Makes sense, Aaron. Hey, okay, couple seconds saved on Enter Stone Tower Temple. Almost back to four minutes ahead, but Stone Tower Temple. Let's see if I can save any time here. I imagine I can. Perfect Stone Tower Temple is hard. Stone Tower Temple is weird because it never really causes like major time losses. It's just like a bunch of minor stuff all over the place. And it's hard to get all of it perfect. The minor time losses in this temple are everywhere. Ooh, I, what was the first game I bought with my own money? God, I wish I remembered actually. I have no idea. I was definitely too young to buy this game when it came out with my own money. Because when this game came out, I was only like, what? Four years old? Four or five? Um... I feel like I didn't buy games with my own money until either the end of the Wii era or like the Wii U era. Somewhere in there. Because that would have been around the time I was in high school. And actually... Ooh, 
it may have it may have actually been Xenoblade. I do remember buying a copy of Xenoblade on my own, but I was buying it for a friend. I don't know if I got my own. I bought a, fr a friend of mine a copy of that game when I was in high school, because I'm like, you gotta play this. <laughs> I don't know if it was the first, though. I don't know if it was the first. That's what I mean by, like, dumb little things can go wrong. That one I shouldn't mess up, though. That movement is not that hard. I just turned too early. gaming console I ever had was N64. My first video game ever was SM64 that came bundled with it, I believe. Although after that, it wasn't long after that that I played OT, and then after that was MM. And I think there were some other games in there before MM, actually. Like, I played... What games did I have growing up? I had Quest 64, which despite not being a great game, I remember pretty fondly. I'm not gonna lie. And then... I had, I had Mario Party 2 specifically, I had Chameleon Twist the first, I had the first Chameleon Twist, I never played the second. This switch is broken, I swear. I didn't move. I just pounded a second time. There's something weird going on there, because that's the second time I've had something like that happen. There's, like, some weird mechanic where after taking damage on the switch, maybe you can't, like, pound or something. I don't know. You only played Chameleon Twist 2? Okay, so you're more familiar with the redesigned chameleons then, right? Because Chameleon Twist 1 had the original designs, which were literally just, like, a ball with eyes for the face. It was, like, a super simple 3D model. And then they actually changed it for Chameleon Twist 2. Although not the JP release. The JP release of Chameleon Twist 2 actually has the original Chameleons. Alright, Canute, have a good night. Thank you very much for the good luck. Yeah, next in-person GDQ in 2030. I have no idea, Goofy Kid. 
I hope it's a few hundred kilometers, though. That's kind of funny. I messed up this room in PB. This room is actually where the 16 seconds to save comes from, I think. And this room is not hard, it's just dumb sometimes. The little Marco on the bridge likes to be mean sometimes. Like that. Get out of here, Marco. <laughs> I don't know if Marco is still here. <laughs> he does know I call those little Marcos, though. They're like, and uh, he, it's not true anymore. But way back in the day, the reason I called them little Marcos is because Marco's uh, profile picture, I think, on Twitter, used to be a, a, a Majora's Mask hip loop. But it's not- I don't think it is anymore. He changed it. Can't believe him. <laughs> Thank you for not owning me. Hello, good luck, Poke Dread. I'm extremely nervous for OT 100%. I'm not even remotely prepared. Not in the slightest. Do I have enough magic right now? I think I have enough magic. Like, I can just... Er, mm, 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 no, I do not. No, I do not. I need a magic refill. This is not enough magic for the amount of light arrows I need to shoot. I need more than half a meter. No, Light Mop, we're never going to. Nobody remembers anymore. I think it's lost to time. Honestly? <laughs> I would not be shocked if we never found out. We were talking about it earlier, and we believe that the bet, whatever the bet was, it was made off stream, but it was like either talked about in my Discord or like we just knew about it because I mentioned it back then. But like, it just went like years without even being talked about for the most part, and I just do not remember anymore, man. It's been too long. <laughs> it was so many years ago. I'm glad we all remember that I have to play OOT on that date, though. That's great. Dude! I didn't even know that could happen! Oh my god. Oh my god! This is terrible! I don't know why I didn't just take the center one at that point, because I have to do this. Well, that sucked. 
I had no idea that I could just fall during that cutscene. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. Probably a very easy way to prevent it, too, is to just take off Bunny Hood. That way I don't have enough movement speed to fall during that cutscene. Or just, like, you know, don't hold the direction during that cutscene probably would also solve that issue. Well, I'm not gonna get, like, any time save in the split. I could have saved, like, 16 seconds, but... I don't think that's happening anymore. <laughs> that probably lost me around 16 seconds, so maybe I'll go even on the split. I have not actually had an 100% glitchless run yet where I've lost Goron Race. Losing Goron Race in general is like an extremely rare occurrence for anyone who's like practiced it a lot. Goron Race, for, if you practice Goron Race enough, it should be around an 80 to 90% win rate. Anything more probably means you need more practice. Because it's not all RNG, right? There's a lot of luck in Goron Race, but a lot of it is reactable. You know what I mean? It's like randomness that can be reacted to and accounted for. It's not randomness that just guarantees that you win or lose. So if you have a lot of practice uh, reacting to the randomness, then you'll lose Goron Race very infrequently. I won't say that you'll never lose it, because I still do lose it sometimes. But I haven't lost it since I picked back up this category yet. It just doesn't happen that often. I am winning. But yeah, there's like a whole bunch of like tips and pointers and stuff that I can give uh, for Goron Race for anyone who like really wants to learn it. Because there's like a lot of things you can do to guarantee victory, or at least maximize it, rather. I don't think you can guarantee it, but you can maximize your odds. God, one frame too early. I hate when I do that. Hello. <laughs> I'm doing good, Zombie Slayer. I know, Ryuji. I hope you feel better, Ryu. The set date for OT Hundo is January 6th. It is coming up very soon. Not even two weeks, and I'm like not even remotely ready. It's so doomed. It's okay. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun train wreck. A very fun train wreck.
I mean, I, I am practicing. I didn't give myself enough time, though. I underestimated how much time I needed. That's totally my fault, but... Eevee's Snom and Gumi. Nice, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, I wish all the glitches were the same in OOT. It'd be so much easier to play them both. This is, uh, an interesting prediction. Not a bad blue. I put it on night of the final day because I want to buy all night's mask, which means I need it to be at least 10 on night of the final day for Curiosity Shop to open. And I want to do it basically immediately after I'm done with Stone Tower. Not a good cycle. Hello? Dude! Dude, 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 dude. I'm losing a lot of time on the split. Holy. I can't hit an arrow. Holy, that was bad. <laughs> well, already 542 is a little bit in danger. Still several segments I could gold. So, I think 542 is still reasonable, but it's a little scary now. <laughs> you regret believing now? <laughs> you should have waited. <laughs> oh my god. 542 is still possible, though, because there's several uh, endgame splits that I can gold by quite a bit. So, best possible time isn't like the end all be all here. Oh no, Temper. You should have waited until that was one of the worst twin mold fights I've ever done. All right, late mop, have a good night. Thank you very much. I'm gonna do it. My ZFG secret brother, perhaps. Have you ever seen? I was about to say, have you ever seen me and ZFG in the same room? That's a different meme. ton of hard stuff in the run left though the last like hour or so of this run is usually pretty stable like what's actually difficult in the last hour oh how much of anything
<laughs> that trick was hard, Nuz. But by the time I was done running that category, Nuz, I had a lock on Stephanie Skip. I was getting it every run. Ooh, chest game actually is a big part, like, point of fluctuation in this category, though. If I get a really good chest minigame, then we're pretty on target for 542. But a, a bad chest minigame could doom it. Fierce Deity Link cannot jump from this platform all the way to the beginning of Stone Tower Temple, but he can jump around. There's an extremely uh, precise series of jumps he can do around the edge of this map that actually make it. The Mask Quest runs are going on YouTube soon. They're not there yet. The casual playthrough just finished going up, um, but they, so the runs will go up afterwards. Oh, I mean, this run is extremely likely to PB, I think. I'm three and a half minutes ahead of my PB. I think I am unlikely to lose three and a half minutes. At this point, we are looking for a better PB. If we can, right? I want a certain quality of PB. I mean, if this run PBs, it is a world record. Don't accidentally invalidate the run. There's not too many ways I could do that. Any plans for New Year's? Nah. My family kind of just chills on New Year's. It's, it's the same we do for Christmas. Uh, there, uh, during a lot of these end of year holidays, I used to like visit family, but most of my family lives too far away now. Um, a lot of them have moved away as they got older. Like, I used to have cousins and a set of grandparents that lived in-state um, and were not that far away from me, but they've, they've all moved south. Away from the snow and the cold. I'm too short on arrows, by the way. I need arrows. That's really bad. I guess I'll have to equip fire arrow so that I can get enough arrows. Wait, did I get arrows? Did I miss them? Were they there? Wait, I missed arrow? I swear I didn't see them. I didn't see them. I was looking for them too. I don't know how I didn't see them.
I also should have gotten the guaranteed arrow drop at the end of Stone Tower, and I was trying to pick it up, but I accidentally missed. Which also is like me trolling, honestly. I also want this magic. Good. <laughs> nah, Cafe Quest was last three day cycle. I already did it. Uh, 542 is getting not very likely. <laughs> I think that prediction came in too soon. <laughs> oh no. Yo, Smoggy, thank you so much for the raid. How are you, man? No, 100% glitchless doesn't really feel anything like a casual playthrough. There's a lot of, like, really specific in-game time routing for this category. And still a lot of unintended strats. So it's still very different from a casual playthrough. Again. Almost a PB. Smoggy, this run is really, really weird. I'm having a pretty bad end game, but my mid game was so good this run. And my early game was also bad. So this run has like bad early game, good mid game, and then so far it's been a pretty bad late game again. Not yet, Z Chris. That is soon though. As far as goal times are concerned, like I want at least a 542 probably at the moment. Yo, not bad night. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Appreciate it very much. We want to get a 542 still. I need to crush all the mini games. Crush them all. Okay, not bad. You're predicting the run won't PB. <laughs> Alright, you would pretty much lose that prediction nine times out of ten. Something either either my Wii would have to crash or something extremely like catastrophic would have to happen. Now, I could gold this split by a lot if I get like a perfect chess minigame. I've never gotten a, a perfect chess minigame because it's so unlikely. But maybe this is the time. Maybe this is the time. No, dude, it was right there. No, nope, that's cheating. Okay. 
It's so easy to accidentally glitch in this minigame. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I clipped through a pillar, but I went back, okay? I went back. It's okay. Now, if this were regular 100%, we take that clip every day of the week. And in fact, we have a setup for that clip to do it intentionally, consistently, so. Not in Glitchless. That minigame sucks so much in Glitchless, man. It's all the way at the end of the run. All the clips that get you over the pillars are banned, so you have to find the intended path, and it's just a lot of luck. Very tragic. What luck based stuff is left? Uh, fish heart piece is a little bit of luck. And there's a lot of magic RNG coming up where I need to get a lot of magic drops so that I can farm properly. All the rupees I need. So there's like a lot of RNG magic drops that I'm about to require. That is true. Oh, I forgot to split. I didn't even notice for the longest time. Am I doing something after runs tonight? Um, probably not because I'm running on like four hours of sleep right now and I'm exhausted. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I need sleep so badly, you have no idea. I don't have new splits, I've just always been bad at splitting. Takes me a few dozen runs to start splitting everywhere properly. Okay. Uh, I have enough magic for next farm already. That's really good. See, but I don't get bad sleep because I want to get bad sleep. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just bad at sleeping. Sleeping is a skill, okay? And I am bad at it. So if you're good at sleeping, you can just add that to the list of things you're good at.
I know I've had so many years to practice sleeping, but it's clearly been like extremely inefficient practice. All right, so this section does have a little bit of RNG because we need to do a couple more farms here for money and I need to refill my magic every time. And we don't get Chateau until later in this route, so we do need to hope for a couple of RNG magic drops. One more and I'd be good. Okay, that's enough for next farm again. We're good, we're good, we're good. So the cutoff point, in order to have enough magic to finish one farm of all the Enos, we need to have 40 units of magic. Um, 40 units of magic, to put that into perspective, a double magic meter is 48 units of magic. So we need to have basically every unit of our magic meter except for eight. An eight magic meter, uh, eight units of magic is about, um, see the magic meter in relation to like the hearts above it? It needs, the, the two rightmost hearts in the top row, we need to start with more magic than the two hearts in the topmost row. Or row. And we have 40 units. Dude. Uh, I'm pretty indifferent to SRM. I don't think it's particularly fun to run, but I also don't have any particular hatred to it either. That light arrow that got blocked, am I out of magic before I do all these now? I either have just enough or I'm out. I'm out, dude. I'm like two units short because of that snowball that got blocked. That's so annoying. That snowball that blocked one of my arrows. That's time loss. Ah, this end game is going really bad, man. All right, Timper, have a good night. I-42 might be doomed, Timper, I'm really sorry. <laughs> this end game has been really bad. Magic, magic, magic! Yes, full meter, okay. It might have to be next time. Yeah, Timber. But it will be soon. I want to finish that this week. I have a lot of things I want to do this week, and I am hoping I actually have time to get to all of them. Goal time for this category is probably... If this ends up being a 543, I think this runs really bad, not gonna lie, so... If this ends up being a 543, I would want at least a 542, 541. Uh, at the moment, I'm the only person running Glitchless 100%. Before me, uh, Bewilderbeast was running it, and there might be another person learning it, but I'm not sure if they're planning to still. Did I delete the Iron Monra? No, it's, I still have it. I still have the seed and the save. Okay, this is the last farm, so I technically do not need another magic refill, but I'd like it because I will need some magic coming up. I just don't need to be full. Okay, that's plenty. Bug Limit is still a thing. It's still one of the more popular categories in the Japanese community. Although, it's less popular than it used to be by a long shot, just because the category got some really dumb tricks in it. So. It's definitely not as popular as it used to be. Bug Limit, though, is, uh, 
It lets you melt sunblocks with water. It's huge. Okay, deposit 490, not 500. Low A press is like not a super serious category, but it is a very difficult one. The strats you have to do to avoid A presses are Hop. Yup. Not Jodin. easy. Bop. Yo, Ted, thank you so much for the 40 month resub. What's up, Tet? Yeah, there was like a, a phase like a year or two ago where there was a couple people trying to run low A press. There, there is a, a low pause, uh, low ta like a low tad of that made by Kita that beats the entire game in only two pauses. That might be what you're thinking of as well. Both of those are things though. They're two separate things that both do exist. Majora's Mask can be beat in only two pauses. The two pauses you need to make are in cycle one, you need to get out of bounds, like you need to escape Clock Town, you need to pick up bombs, you need to pick up uh, Ocarina at the end, which you'll equip, and you need to pick up Lens. The first pause in order to beat that task does is Ocarina Bombs Lens, and then the second one I think is Light Arrows Goron Zora. And those are the only two pauses for the entire run. Ooh, low, low percent was an interesting time, Ian. I need to go back to low percent one day. Low percent is challenging, but it's also really fun. The problem is, though, like, it's not true low percent anymore, because true low percent is just, like, you know, credits warp, but... Or moon warp or something, but... We can just we can just run the old routes because they're fun. They are a good challenging and entertaining in their own right. <laughs> yeah it does, Rixa. Yeah, it's just low percent no SRM. I mean look SRM is banned now, so technically low percent goes back to what it was before. Actually it is just the real low percent category. SRM is banned. <laughs> it 
Yeah, I think current low percent is 15 items. And skips the bottle. Also, thank you very much for the 100 bits, Ian. What's up, Diceron? Huh? Yo! Clooding! Moment. Nat, thank you so much for the 59 month resub. Oh, there is a scam train going on. Yo. We big scamming or what? I just gotta go. Wait, 542 is possible again. Let's go. It's still on the table. Yo, Flashfire, thank you so much for the three pack. Appreciate it very much. <laughs> the prediction already happened, Remnat. You missed it just barely. That's Dunban over there. I heard a gun bag. Yo, Sigma, thank you so much for the three month Twitch Prime. And Anon with the gun bag. got scammed with the five bits it didn't even push it past 99 <laughs> wait a minute these fish are really fast if this last it's right there don't you dare swim away that was really fast fish and not a single water Falcon, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Almost to 54, but 53 and a half is pretty good. Not bad, not bad. Oh man, Ian. Are you ready for speedruns then or what? When am I gonna catch your 100%? Remnat, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime three month sub. Appreciate you very much. 
And Captain Falcon with another gift to Ian. Let's go. Thank you so much, Captain Falcon. There are a lot of mini games in this run that I think are hard to do well. But I am the mini game aficionado when it comes to Majora's Mask. There used to be a meme that I spent so much time practicing mini games that I didn't actually like practice the actual run enough. I was only good at the mini games. that time. All right, 53 and 52. Both good. Yo, this tumbler is nuts. The water I put in it like eight hours or like, when did I put the water in this? I put water in this <laughs> six hours ago almost and the water is still like cold and I didn't even put ice in it. That's nuts. That's crazy. This is my first... <laughs> It's my first tumbler and I'm kind of attached now. Bloggers, <sighs> bro. No, no, no. Believer should still be sweating. You still have to worry about fish heart piece. If I get bad fish heart piece, you're just immediately doomed because that's just almost two minutes gone instantly. That is the fish I prefer. This one is easier to manipulate. There's a left fish and a right fish, and the left one is more reliable in all my testing. I don't know why, couldn't tell you, but I've done this hundreds of times, and the left one always is easier to get to do what I want. Four fish? What's up, Mecha Panda? Sorry, I'm like really focused because we're nearing the end of the run and I do have a rather sizable lead at the moment. I don't want to throw it. Even though I hate this run, I still don't want to throw it, right? <laughs> Yo, Joss, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Um, I think the last thing that can cause me any significant time loss is Secret Shrine, which comes up right after Po House. do you have an MM, Diceron? Perfect. Nice, nice. You can one-cycle that guy if you just... You, you have to shoot him before he reaches the wall. Because once he reaches the wall, he becomes invisible. Do you have, like, a time limit? How fast you have to shoot him? <laughs> Creedy, there were a 
couple golds in a row. My best possible time has gone down how much this run? Like my sum of best? My sum of best has gone down a little bit over two minutes this run. That's kind of nuts. I really feel like I shouldn't still be seeing improvements of my best possible time that large. Sub 540 is possible, but I don't know if I'm gonna shoot for it. Sub 540 is so freaking hard. And would require, like, not only for me to play extremely well across six hours, but also, uh, really, it, it would require basically perfect RNG across the, almost the whole run. Which, uh, there is a lot of RNG in this category, and it is almost six hours long. So... Trying to get perfect RNG in a, uh, a run that long is not not impossible, but would require such an insane amount of grinding just for good RNG that I'm not sure if it's something I'm feeling. As soon as like PB is completely dependent on the RNG I get, it does it's not as fun to grind anymore. When you just have to hope every single run that you get that 25% damn bag. Maybe if it was more in my favor, favor, oh, then yup. please slow down. You need to move slowly for the strat to work. That's a little bit easier with her. Please slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. He slowed down. Hello? Where's my spin slash? Not that bad. Pretty good, actually. Yo, Majora's Disciple. Thank you so much for the nine-month resub. Why, hello there. not spent a lot of time talking to ZFG. I like to think we're on good terms, but I wouldn't really call us friends just because we don't know each other very, very well. I have met him at GDQs, though, and we have talked briefly. I'd say we are neither on bad terms nor good terms. We do not know each other well enough to say either. Dude, for me to compare OOT to MM, I'd actually need to know a thing about OOT. Which I do not. Yeah, soon I'm gonna know a lot of things about OOT. <laughs> Yeah, I have to run OOT in like nine days, Diceron. It's really not that far away. I'm not ready. Uh, I have to run OOT because I lost a bet five years ago and I picked a date to run OOT that was so far off that I wouldn't have to worry about it. Except now it's here, so I do have to worry about it and I'm doomed.
I lost some sort of bet around five years ago, and five years ago I picked the date January 6, 2022. I have to play OT. And uh, that date is approaching. It's here. Technically, I only have to do one OT run, but if I'm going to spend time learning the entire category, why would I not actually try to, like, do something with it? Right? Like, I'm gonna have to spend multiple days, tons of hours of effort, to learn the whole category. So it seems kind of a waste of all that time I spent learning it if I only do one run, you know what I mean? It's like wasted effort, almost. <laughs> Am I streaming for New Year's? Uh, I very well could because my family never does anything for New Year's, so... It's not like I'll be busy. Nah, I didn't hear about that zombie slayer. That's pretty hype, though. Can you do an 100% of OT and MM at the same time? You could. It would take a really long time, though. That would take a really long time, and a lot of planning. A lot of planning. That would be really hard. Nah, I've never run Mario 64. I know a couple of tricks in it, and I've learned things, because I have a couple friends in the Mario 64 community, but I've never run it. I can do the Chain Chomp clip for the first star, though. Woo. <laughs> Woo! I'm not! <laughs> Yeah, I gotta finish that fuzzy. I've kind of put that on hold because I had too many casual things at once, so as soon as the, the Iron Mon is done, we're picking that back up. I was getting overwhelmed with casual things. A lot of like casual games I want to play on the side. I never, I never get to them because speedrunning takes up so much time, right? Be like really adept at speedrunning. Half of like all video games I play are Majora's Mask, if not more than half. At least half. We've almost wrapped up everything before the moon. Two heart pieces left before the moon. 
Now, one of them is bank cart piece, which is going to take, like, five minutes to get. Thankfully, we already have more than half the rupees we need in the bank. We already have 3,000 rupees in the bank, so we just need to get the last 2,000, which only takes a couple minutes. I'm gonna have bad camera, aren't I? Please don't give me bad camera. That's bad camera. I can't make that. I have to go for this one. Um, so I will lose a few seconds on this minigame. Only a few, though. The minigame should have ended there, but I missed my initial platform, so I just have to go grab this last one. Not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> if only Deku Princess was worth anything. Okay, Riam, you'll get those points back in no time. Thankfully, that's not that many. What do you mean, George? Deku princess trafficking is illegal. This is true. Oh, the bottle I just had was a bottle of Chateau. It gives me infinite magic for the rest of the three-day cycle. Which is really good, because it means I don't have to rely on RNG magic drops for the rest of the bank card piece. Before I, like, earlier in this segment, or earlier, like an hour ago, I was doing this too, but I had to do it with RNG magic drops, because I didn't have Chateau yet. Now I have Chateau, so I just have as much magic as I need. The only thing I need to worry about is arrows, but I also have enough arrows, so we're good. Side hop off. I love how badly the audio gets distorted at some parts of this. It's crazy. It's my favorite. I never want to try to do an Eno hover ever again. I tried to do it in a rando once, it's so painful.
right. Almost about to enter the moon. The reason this little bit of farming is placed here in the route is actually just to buy time until the clock tower opens. It works out pretty nicely. Otherwise, we'd be, like, waiting on the door. I mean, we probably wouldn't be. We'd just route it in a different way, but, like, it ends up working out that this is just a good way to stall on last night till the door opens. We do need one more set of rupees before we're done. We're at 4,500. This will be the last one. Oh no, the moon's gonna crash! I'm not gonna make it! Run's dead, guys. Yo, thanks, Richard. How's your break going, man? I hope you are feeling refreshed. Nice and well again. Alright, and we are done with bank art piece! Woo! No more farming! Dude, you got here at the right time, Richard! You missed all the boring stuff! Let's go! Because we spend like, you know, five, six minutes <laughs> right at the end getting bank art piece. Okay, okay, okay. This has a pretty solid chance of being a 542, and I thought it was doomed. <laughs> this ended up being a really good prediction because it's still kind of close. Like, it could go either way. <laughs> okay. This run could end up being a 542, which if this run ends up getting a 542, I mean... Dude, I can't be done with this category if this is what a 542 looks like. This run was so bad! Anyone who has a NOP sub still, give me a NOP sucks in the chat. <laughs> this run deserves it. Missed the entire run. Can I do it again real quick, Serios? I mean, that would kind of invalidate the world record, but for you, I'll do it. All right, let me just reset real quick. <laughs> Not world record, okay, bye. Run it back immediately, all right? I'm not feeling uh, the run back of the six hour long category immediately after finishing it. I apologize. Not gonna do it. <laughs> Yo, let's go, Enzo! Enzo, this run sucks! But it's gonna world record. But it sucks! done bands over there <laughs> so what would have to happen for me to miss world record uh at this stage four minutes ahead with only like 10 minutes left in the run 
uh, my Wii would have to crash. Or my power would have to go out. Or... Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Heck, even if Spectrum took me offline right now, I could still finish the run offline because I have a recording going too. So, even Spectrum taking me down wouldn't end the run. It just means you wouldn't see it <laughs> until it went on YouTube where I would be awkwardly staring at the camera with nobody to talk to for the last 10 minutes of the run. Spectrum actually wasn't that bad, this stream. I've, I've had some really bad streams recently with Spectrum. Um, I had a stream where they dropped 30,000 frames in one stream. This stream, they only dropped 750 stream, uh, frames. Which, as far as seconds go, is like... What, like a minute's worth of frames over the entire six-hour stream? It's not too bad. My upload with Spectrum uh, hovers around 4 or 5, generally. It can go as high as 7 or 8 on a good day, but usually it's 4 or 5. I believe that I have uh, adequate speeds to stream a 20-year-old N64 game on Twitch.tv, but... Regardless, Spectrum still doesn't like it and will own me occasionally. Yeah, I gotta play SNES games with like a bitrate of 50. That's perfect. Yeah, but, like, I want to stream at, like, the highest quality option, like, I can, because I'm a partner, I have, you know, I have transcoding, so, right, so if it's, like, too high of quality for somebody watching, they can just turn it down, right? If I didn't have transcoding, I would just stream at an extremely low bit, right, because it barely changes how this game looks, right? That's fine. But because I have transcoding, and, like, if the stream is, like, too high quality for someone to watch, they can just lower it. I always want to put it as high as I can. There's no reason not to, unless my ISP is owning me. Which they do. They do do it a lot. Yeah, back before I got partner, uh, I used to stream at, I think, 1200 bitrate. Somewhere between 1000 and 1200. And then I got partner, and I'm like, okay, I'm getting crazy. I'm putting it above 2,000. And uh, now I stream at like 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, whatever my ISP feels like it can do on the day. A 542 is very much on the table right now. It is very possible. Pretty likely, even. Yeah, what's the maximum bitrate you can have on Twitch again? It's like 7,000, right? Anything higher than 7,000 is too much. Is it 6k? Okay, I wasn't sure if it was 6 or 7. I think I've never streamed higher than 5,000 whenever I'm playing like an HD game.
end goal for this category is like whenever I think the run doesn't suck. <laughs> so it's doomed. <laughs> it's doomed. Never done. No, aiming for your sum of best room when your sum of best is optimized isn't really a realistic goal because you can't play that perfectly for six hours. It's just not conceivable. Uh, aiming for, like, only, like, a minute or two above the sum of best, though, is pretty good. Pretty reasonable, I think. Like, maybe, maybe two, in a six-hour category, I think two to three minutes above my sum of best would be pretty good. Because this category is decently consistent at a lot of points, so with less variance, I should be closer to my sum of best, ideally. I do think that, X-Master, yep. It is totally possible to save one and a half minutes elsewhere in the run and get bad Dampe and still PB. I think with bad Dampe, I could get a 540 or 541. I think 540 is probably... What am I doing? Brain. That only cost a few seconds. My brain just shut off for a moment. I'm very tired. Okay, I, I need to refocus. I'm, I'm running on very little sleep, and there's only like 10 minutes left in the run, so let's just refocus. Don't own myself at the very end. I need, I need more sleep. I'm not trying to sabotage the believers, I swear. I want the believers to win, which is why I shouldn't be doing that, what I just did. Yeah, there's about 30 seconds of save on Majora somehow. This run had good Dampe. Good Dampe saves about a minute and a half. And you get good Dampe only in about, uh, only in 25% of runs. The chance of good Dampe is exactly 25%. So in, in three fourths of my runs against running against these splits, I will lose a minute and a half there for free. Isn't that great? It's fantastic. I showed the bunny hood glitch after the run yet uh, last time. I can't show it off every time. I mean, I could, but you know, it gets excessive after a point. <laughs> There's a weird glitch where if you uh, do the thing in Milk Bar to get Circus Leader Mask and you do the human part of the song last while wearing Bunny Hood, Link will run even faster than he should normally, even with Bunny Hood. His speed increases a bit more for some reason. 
It only lasts while you remain in Milk Bar, so it's not useful, but it's kind of funny looking. Because Link's feet are going super fast. <laughs> He's speeding. a few seconds on this split, but not many. So 542 is still very much on the table. Majora fight needs to go well, though. I have uh, nine seconds of leeway on the Majora fight. That, that is a lot of leeway in the Fierce Deity Majora fight. Okie dokie, um, there's very, very little skill expression in this fight with Ferris Deity. The only skill expression is on Majora's Wrath. If I do it right, you can kill Wrath in about three seconds. If you combo correctly. The timing window is short, so I might miss that one. That is the only real thing that varies here. Me continues his domination over the leaderboard, claiming every single world record. Oh, and there's a luck-based thing here, but if I get bad luck, I lose, like, almost no time. <laughs> Ideally, I'm just gonna slash in a random direction and he runs into it. Uh-oh, that costs a second or two. Okay, still 542 possible. Come on, come on. I just need a good wrath. Let's see if I can get the one cycle. This is the only hard part. Got it. 542-56. Barely the believers win by three seconds. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, um, that is a really big improvement to the record. That is a really big improvement. This run sucked though. <laughs> Dude, I gotta beat this, this can't be the end. Okay, I think my goal for this category is 541 or 540. I'm not sure which, it's one of the two. Sub 540 requires basically perfect RNG. Sub 540 is a really unfun to grind for just because there's so much RNG in this category and across six hours, getting perfect RNG in that long of a category is really hard. So if I get lucky and get sub 540, that would be nice, but I don't think I'm gonna strive for it. Oh wait, I need to put the chat on screen for the record. All right, say hello to YouTube, everyone. Everyone on YouTube, say hi back to chat. <laughs> That's how we'll know who on YouTube watched to the end of a six hour long video. Whoever says hi back to chat in the comments, watch the full six hour video. Or cheated and was here and then went to the YouTube video afterwards. That's cheating though. You guys wouldn't do that. I trust you all, right? We're gonna, we're gonna operate on the honor system here. 
All right, none of you are gonna do that. <laughs> huh? Yo, Gruding. Yo, Thickless Cage, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for 14 months. Appreciate it. Am I the mass salesman? Yeah. That's me in a few years. Oh, Lou, have a good night. Wait, I see it, Lou. I see it. Sorry, I was missing it. Have a good night, Lou. Good luck with sleep. I will be joining you shortly. You really oh, never think you? that, like, the speedrun where, you? like, you're operating on four hours of sleep and haven't done a run in a week is the one where you're going to PB by four minutes. But this one was. Clearly the key to good speedrunning is to never sleep. Only play. <laughs> I'm so tired, man. Nah. The, the lack of sleep did show itself in a few places in this run. It really did. There were a few places in this run where I got to somewhere and like even though I should have the route memorized, like my brain froze and I like forgot what I was supposed to do next. And it cost me, like, two or three seconds in a few places where I just had to, like, <laughs> remember what I was doing. Yo, Bear Gogo, -Go, thank you so much for the six-month Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate you very much, Bear Gogo. -Go. Dude, I never appreciate... Er, <laughs> I never... <laughs> I never intend... No, I never appreciate subs. You guys suck. No. <laughs> I love you guys. No, um, I never intend to miss, like, miss subs. I just do. Oh, it's Goo Goo. That's right. I've, I think I've always been reading it long, wrong. The brain lag is real, okay? It's, it's coming out now, right? Now that I'm no longer speedrunning, my brain has shut down. It's, it's just, it's completely gone at this point. There's nothing left. <laughs> There's nothing left anymore. <laughs> Yo, Kello, thank you so much for the gift sub to Big Daddy Devo. No, Destiny, I love specifically you, but don't tell everyone else. We'll be jealous. Right, no one else can know. <laughs> oh my god. Guys are a bunch of memers. <laughs> I appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much for being here. This is pretty neat. This run is going to suck to run against, though. There are a couple of really big time saves in it, but running against a, a hot, like a good run that also, or like a, a fast run, I don't want to call it good, but a, a, a fast run that also gets good dampe is hard. Good Dampe sucks to run against, it really does. Because it's a, just this one and a half minute fluctuation that favors you losing the one and a half minutes. So it's not fun to run against the good. Like, it's not fun to just lose one and a half minutes there for free in the majority of your runs. It really isn't. Oh man, it'll be highlighted on Twitch basically right after the stream, Cisco, and it'll go on YouTube a bit later. It's gonna be on Twitch first, and I'm not sure when I'm gonna put it on YouTube. It might take a couple more days for it to go on YouTube, because I have to upload the whole video because the Twitch VOD has a few frames missing. And I want a cleaner version, so I'll use my personal recording, but that means uploading a six hour long video. <laughs> God, it sucks, it sucks so much. Oh, man. Good stream, though. Successful run. Four and a half minutes. All right, let me make sure I didn't miss any subs really quick. I don't think I did, but... No, R Richard gifted a sub to Kello. I think I saw that one. I saw Majora Disciple. 
Okay, I think I caught up. I think I didn't miss any others. I got Bear, Bear Goo Goo. I've been saying the name wrong. I'm trolling. Yo, bad idea, you're here just in time for me to go offline because I haven't slept at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, Nova, thank you so much. Nova, it was literally... Oh, actually, wait, that was two minutes ago. All right, never mind, Nova. <laughs> thank you for the 500 bits. <laughs> I was gonna say it just happened, but it was actually two minutes ago. I do not think I missed everything. Because this, like, if you miss... Well, I mean, there are certain things you can probably miss in this route, but I definitely had 20 hearts. I had all the masks. I had all the items. Um, by extension, I should have completed the bomber's notebook. Um, so the only thing I could be missing, I didn't miss any tingle maps, like, I had all of them for the last couple sores. So the only thing I could have missed is a dungeon map or compass, but like, the dungeon maps are, uh, the dungeons themselves are the, like the most practiced parts of the run for me, so I, I can't see myself missing a map or a compass. Yep, I did get the owl in the ranch, because the owl uh, in the ranch you have to soar to for this route a couple times. So, the route would have fallen apart if I didn't have any... You, you soar to every owl statue in this run, except for the Stone Tower Temple. Oh, and the Great Bay one, actually. The the great the Zora Cape one. You don't soar to either of those. So I guess, technically, I wouldn't notice if I had missed those, but I'd, I'd probably just miss, like, notice them missing from the map when I soared. <laughs> Right, then. So I do have to do OT soon, but I have a, a little bit of time left to do more runs of this. I, I want a better time than this. Like, I can definitely... I can definitely do better than this. It, it, it's hard now, though. Now, now, we're, now we're getting into, like, a range where it's a lot harder to PB, you know what I mean? Gets, it gets much, much harder from here. Summer Best is a 537 now. My Summer Best improved three minutes this run, almost. Right, or no, slightly over two. Bad math, slightly over two. <laughs> Bad math. Because <laughs> it started around um, two... Or no, five, it started around 540.08, right? I think it was 540.08 or so, somewhere around that. Well, Ajax, I've been practicing this category for like the last month, month and a half, but I've been running this game for six years, so I mean, almost seven now, actually. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's almost been seven years because I started running January of 2015. God. There are no up-to-date complete tasks for any of Majora's Mask categories. For like full runs. There's a lot of small tasks for individual sections, but no full tasks of entire runs at the moment. Crazy mutant. Oh, because it doesn't support the FFZ custom mod icons, probably knows. I didn't even notice that. Alright, guys. I believe out of me tonight, that is going to be the stream. Uh, I am 